that's why we said the mines are Uh-oh. Okay. I there had all been else since the mines. Okay. Uh, yeah. Set two sets um, kind of far away from each other so that they don't... Ha! Y'all weren't expecting that one. Sorry if I just blew anybody's eardrums out. I should have thought about the uh, implications of my actions before committing to such a loud and aggressive introduction. So if I freaked anybody out, I'm sorry. Um, however, comma, we are beginning, beginning a new era. We have been laying in the dirt here for something like five days straight, going true American sniper right here. Um, my buddy laying over there in the dirt as peacemaker, me and him are old army buddies, and he just got this game over the Christmas holiday, and uh, I'm helping him get accustomed to the game uh, get into it. He's already doing great. Um, and we're going to do a little little army of two action here. So let's do it. You're already doing great, man. Is that blood on your arm? Or, or is that some sort of like super metal tattoo? That would be blood. Because yeah. it's, it's been on there for a long time. A long time. <laughs> well, in the, in the animation at the beginning... He put the bandage on, and then the blood just instantly appeared back through it again. So nice. You know, I don't. I don't know. If he did a very good job. Of Probably the, not. I don't. But, yeah, I don't see. I don't really see a bandage on <laughs> there at all. Yeah, it's I, just a yeah. big old hole in your arm. I think it just clips right through. Is probably what happened. Oh yeah, shit but, happens. Yeah. Whatever. All right. So we got to get to a. Uh, the sanctuary, the the area where that lady was was talking about, without giving too much detail. Do you want me to just take you there, or do you want to try and find it? I can find it. I'm sure it's somewhere's up from where we were. So it's supposed to be in the mountains between two waterfalls. Um, That's and the mountains are to the south, I think. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Looks like it. All right. Yeah, south. Well, yeah, south. She I'm wondering if all the patrols are still here or if they all just left after so many days. I the, I, the wreck's I, still I, burning. I, yeah, I say, I'm loyal, but I'm not going to stand in the woods for a week straight. <laughs> I'm so loyal. I'll sleep I'm here so out of, on the cold hard ground while Mr. Krabs sleeps in his warm tent. Look, I'm I'm Peggy the pirate. <laughs> I'm blind beard the pirate. <laughs> Patrick, no looking at the map. I'm not looking. I'm just touching. <laughs> I'm not going to get anything done. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right I love we're it. getting stuff done. We're just uh, having fun while we do it. Okay. Hey, stay out the train tracks. Man, I will. What if I prone camo in the train tracks? Can I do that? I don't think the train cares about your camo. <laughs> not really a, not really a very self-preservationist act. To... You know, actually, here I can. Here, let's let's take a quick lesson. I'm gonna try and guess where we are based on the train tracks. Well, considering they're using concrete rails, they're not in the United States. Concrete rails. Yeah, look at them. They're concrete. These aren't concrete. They look like concrete to me. Cos they're concrete cross beams. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean rails. I mean, yes, the ties. Ties. Yeah. 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 yeah the ties are concrete. Yeah. So, not in the United States, more than likely. I that's. Don't know why I think that's chose. a good assessment. <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of European countries use plastic, like a high density polymer. Okay. I, I can see that. Any, any euros in the chat can confirm, but that's actually a really good way to uh, reuse waste plastic. I'm told. I mean, yeah, that totally makes sense because it's a lot of material that needs to be used. I, I mean, I did my fair share of riding trains in Europe, but I, I don't ever remember actually looking at the composition of the railroad ties. Because the unfortunately, one, they they cost more and they're a lot harder to transport, but they last so much longer. Mm -hmm. So, risk and reward, you know. Or yeah. I guess benefit and drawback would be a little more accurate to the situation. Sure. But. All right, we got an LDA here. I'll cover you if you want to cross. Yeah, I'll, I'll go over. Uh, man, this this reminds me so much of um, that island, in the, the first Incredibles movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know exactly right, what you're talking about. All right, moving. Come on over. But, like, um, when that 
train blew by, I was having like a flashback to the Incredibles movie. When oh my out. god, yeah, dude, that that that's such a cool like setting. I I love that. It's like a evil lair island, and you know what's best about it? The what? main bad guy. What's his name again? Um, uh, Syndrome. Yeah, Syndrome. Yep. He's got his um, his. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, somebody just commented on one of my YouTube videos. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> what the hell was I saying? He's got his base, his like main layer is inside of a fucking volcano, and I love yep. it. Because volcano it's levels in video games are my favorite. I think volcanoes are badass. Okay, so either we just crossed over into Skyrim, or we're getting closer to the monastery. Oh yeah, look at this. Holy... Yeah, this Jesus, that's yeah. huge. This is the standing stone of power. That's um, something else, dude. Yeah, you touch it and you reload faster. So this is actually a Polynesian uh, island, I think. Like, the natives are, are Polynesians. It's mm -hmm. near New Zealand, um, like off the coast of New Zealand by a few hundred or maybe a few thousand miles. Yeah, you're something. Yeah, I think they're up by that. You see there's a jeep. I wish I could point, like, if this is VR, I could just, like, point. Ah, oh, man, I can't wait till we get that. That's going to be cool. But um, up by that little light strike vehicle up there, I think, is where they are. So I think, I mean, if this is Polynesia, I mean, we're in a jungle environment. It makes sense for those concrete rail ties. Cause oh, yeah, yeah. If they were wood, they would rot out in no time, I'm sure. 100%. That totally makes sense. I suppose for arid environments, you can afford to use wood because it dries out and then it must last a lot longer. Right. It's kind of interesting with wood, you know, because you always think, like, what makes wood rot? You know, and you think, oh, water makes wood rot, but it actually has to have water and oxygen. So, like, things fully submerged under water rot much slower than, say, things that are, like, wet sometimes, dry sometimes. It's, f it's funny you say that because... We found a very interesting thing up on the lake up north. Um, there was a an old um, timber from the logging days just floated up to the surface. Uh, and this thing is solid. And it was just floating along the, the surface. Like one end was sticking out of the water. And the, the lake was super calm. And it's just floating along the surface. And this thing... I mean, we we di we didn't know what the hell it was at first. We thought maybe it was a dead body or something. So come down to the lake. We pulled this thing up to shore, and we used it as like a base for making a rock wall at right. the beach to you know to preserve the uh, the shoreline. Right. Um, it was pretty cool though. Just kind of a cool, cool thing to find from the old logging days. Well, as the Midwest a, was logged out a lot. Huge industry for like recovering uh, sunken logs like that because they don't rot. And mm -hmm. in a certain way, under certain conditions, they get conditioned. Um, there's a bunch of guys over there. Yeah, we can probably just bypass these guys. Yeah, go around. Say. No need to. But yeah, there's guys that like go into swamps and like old logging. <clears throat> um, like rivers and such, and they recover mm -hmm. like those old logs. Some of them are worth a lot of money. It's uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Some of them are actually dangerous too because... Like, they'll get spiked, they call it spiked, they'll get, like, jammed into the, uh, the silt layer at the bottom of the river, and they're basically like a, like a, like an obstacle, like a water obstacle, like, what, during, like, low water, and if that thing oh, comes Oh, shit, up, yeah, I bet, it'll, yeah. It'll puncture a boat hull, no problem. Somebody just runs straight into that, yeah, that's, I, I never even thought about that. It would destroy, like, the hull of a ship, because you think about, say, a 20-foot log, and... 10 feet of it's buried under that silty sand layer there's so much friction mm -hmm. and like ground pressure it's, it's not moving at all yeah you know it's set right there yeah i mean that's that's got to be an interesting industry to be in it's really niche but i'm sure that those guys got to make money doing it what's that like logging recovery yeah yeah like under underwater <laughs> logging recovery what do you i mean do you have to have like divers for that or what do they go out with chains and just um, hook them up and pull them out <laughs> So I think, I think yeah, it probably helps to have a couple of divers to assess it because if it's something that's buried super deep, you're going to have quite a time getting it out. Mm -hmm. So they can probably determine whether or not you're wasting your time. Um, yeah. But, I mean, they have, like, a certain rig, I'm sure, to float over to it. And, uh, this is a road here. Okay, Roger. Um, I got you covered if you want to. Oh, well, it's just a little, road, little yeah, path. 
Oh, here's another statue. It's a pretty cool looking thing. We're finding more of these, and I've holy shit, that's huge. Yeah, look at that thing. It's giant. I've never seen one of these before. Yeah. Maybe I have. I just didn't notice it. What's this supposed to be? Is it like a koala bear? It's a jaguar, I think. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The pointy ears. Yeah, I think yeah. it's some large cat. <laughs> that's, that's sick, cool. man. I would love to have something like that. I have this old like. Uh, I think it's either a Hawaiian or some kind of Polynesian mask that I found in my apartment um, that the previous occupant left behind. This thing looks like it's some like cursed thing that I shouldn't touch and I have never touched it, but it kind of gives me those same vibes. Someday I'll break it out and that's when I'll introduce a freaking, you know, spiritual entity into my life by trying to mess with it. <laughs> The thing that's even scarier is imagine your house haunted by an English-speaking spirit. Now imagine one that doesn't speak any English at all. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Some Polynesian under- yeah, entity, that'd be terrifying. I think I'll probably just not touch it, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Nothing's so, happened so far, so I'm good. <laughs> so I think that it's interesting. Hey, there's some uh, stuff in here. This looks um, like a place of me, power. It gave me credits. That's a or, neat looking uh, box. It looks like a Skyrim like treasure box. This whole area looks like all the pillars where you choose like thief or what what is it? What are the three different options? One of them is Oh, they're like the, the power stones. Thief or warrior and one other. Yeah, something like Mage that. Mage or like yeah, wizard or yeah. something like that. I think I think it's well, I spent so long since I played Skyrim, this is embarrassing. Um so I was thinking the other day about warrior like what warrior means to different cultures now it's evolved over time mm-hmm. and think about like modern day warriors like we're armored warriors with like long range weapons and like technology like people have never seen they think oh man it's badass and it's you know it's intense to face a similar enemy like a mm-hmm. near peer force like you know scrap with someone that has exactly like you have and whatnot but like back in the day like just imagine being like a tribal warrior yeah like the half naked and hit the charge of dudes that have like similar weapons as you and in some cases probably worse like i'd rather get shot than get stabbed by some dude's like pointed barbed spear probably with poison on it that's terrifying <laughs> yeah, i mean yeah the, the concept of getting shot with an arrow or stabbed with a spear yeah it reminds me of um you just saying that reminds me of I saw uh, Tamira Morrison was doing the haka. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what oh, it's called. Yeah. The, Tribal dance, yes. Yeah, he was doing that on set of The Mandalorian, like yeah. as Boba Fett. It was so badass. <laughs> that's like one of the coolest things I'd seen in a long time. It was that behind the scenes, right? Yeah, yeah. Without, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but just know that Tamira Morrison is a pretty badass dude. He's yeah. trained in these... Uh, Polynesian martial arts as part of his Maori tribe. Um, All right, there's a bunch of guys down here. I don't know if this is the sanctuary thing we're looking for. I don't think it is. I think we got to go further up into the mountains. You see that little, see that little building in the center? That little like dome-looking thing. <laughs> little, like half dome. You see that thing? Yeah. So it's like a dug-in. Cool. Yeah, it's like a subterranean. Those things are super cool. That reminds me of a wigwam, but like dug into the ground. I think that we used to, some of the native tribes on the east coast of the U.S. used to do something similar to that. But they're only useful in certain places. Not too well in a wet place, obviously, because it's going to you know, absorb water. But they're yeah. good for holding, holding heat. You know, like I bet, cold, yeah. Like a place with like, uh, you know, like annual frost or something. Yeah. It's interesting that they chose to set that up here, but who knows? I don't know, like... <laughs> I don't know if there's supposed to be still indigenous population here or if it's just old remnants or what. Because you'd think if they were old remnants that they'd be gone, you know, right. by now. So maybe there's supposed to still be a Polynesian, you know, indigenous people that's living here. Maybe they were just recently forced out of here. It could be, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of crazy military operations going on. So maybe, yeah, who knows? So I'm, I'm just kind of guessing here that whatever this shrine thing is is pretty far above the lowland. I mean, 
if I'm considering old video game design and where I would imagine they build a super cool monastery, probably the top of the hill. <laughs> it's not really a monastery, but it's like a, I don't know, like a place of gathering, I guess you could call it. Like a hideout. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's like a, some kind of a warship. Oh, here we, oh, here's some guys up here. There's like four dudes on that bridge over there. Bridge? Yeah, there's a bridge over here on the right. If we okay. follow that road up, there's like a bridge. There's like four guys. I think that's the only way to go this. Yep. Hey, I see a waterfall. Hey, that's Excellent. good. Hey, there's two waterfalls. Is that hey. Good? Look at that. Okay. All right, so then. We're gonna have to bypass this bridge. We're going to have to take the bridge, I'm guessing. This is I'm... exactly how me and uh, Dare did this when we first played this game. Like, we just walked up into the mountains and tried to find it. There was no, like, you know. Nothing told us where to go. There's a there's a guided mode and an unguided mode with the map. In the unguided mode, you basically just have to find stuff. And it's pretty f fun because it gives you clues on where to find it. And then you just search for it. And you kind of have to, like, analyze the terrain. And, you know, it'll say it's east of here or south of here. It's by a lake. It's by, you know, whatever. And then you just have to find it. All right, I think we have to take that bridge because that's a pretty... Deep canyon. I can't see the bottom yet. I don't want to get too close to the edge, but yeah. Don't you bring your crossbow with a grappling hook? Oh right, I forgot about <laughs> that. That's in, my, that's in my other drop leg holster. Man. Sorry. Why don't they add stuff like th that to games like this? Like, right, how see? fucking cool would that be to shoot a fucking crossbow across this and just have a rope attached and then just come go across the rope like <laughs> hanging so cool. from it? How cool would that be? Do you play um? Do you play Half Life? Half yeah. Life, I specifically two mm -hmm. so do you remember that one like the crossbow they had the superheated like rebar is like a projector oh yeah absolutely so I, watched a, I watched a youtube channel where a guy made one of those and man it was so cool like how he made it work like once you like cocked it backwards it activated like a little electrical battery to like superheat that piece then it would launch it that's um, dope but the thing that kind of sucked about it and i never thought about this when i played the game but what happens to metal when you superheat it <laughs> Comes more ma malleable, right? Yeah, so he would like shoot it against like a piece of plywood and he would just like bend Oh shit, oh shit! How many are there? I think four. I can call in a strike on these guys. How many are there? There's like six of them. But they're all in a big cluster. So I can call in a strike. Oh, maybe there's only four. I guess I saw the... I'm only seeing... Oh wait, hold on, watch out. Two of them are breaking off. They might be coming down. Must be huge. Should I call on a strike? I said I was trying to hit him. Save the strikes. You know, okay. Alright, I'll focus on the guy on the right, I guess. There's Hold no on, let me see. Do I have grenades? I could hit him with a flashbang here, and then we just Don't open fire. What do you out. say? Okay, how does it work with the flashbang? Do I have to, like, look away from it, or do I have to actually like, turn my character away from it? It, it won't affect you at this distance. Outside. It should just oh. affect them. Oh, okay. Um, all right, let me get to a spot where I can take good aim here. Uh, Never you ready. Not there yet. Jesus. The choppers are trashed. Oh, wait, there are. They can't really expect us to all right, I'm ready. Okay, give me... You say that, did some spry prepping. Ah, no uh, shit. Let me get closer to you. I'm going to get further up so I can actually... Oh, uh-oh. Oh, they saw me. Flash out. I got three of them. Hey, well, so that did it. Should we take their Jeep? I was gonna say, why not? Save ourselves a little bit of trouble. Alright. Gotta hop on that gun. You guys got any goodies on? Oh, that's a good good idea. I was gonna say, I look for the goodies. Sure I can see. Yeah, for you, since you don't really have any weapons right now, I mean, it's good well, for you to that. be able to look for other weapons if you find something that you like i got that what 416 or whatever it is i think it seems pretty okay yeah uh, <laughs> oh my god you just throwing him off the bridge i was trying to i can't really like he doesn't throw him hard enough he doesn't put enough effort into it i say that like it's easy to just throw a 200 pound man over a chest height railing here we go Rest that's where i go over to long live the king we sacrificed somebody into the volcano. There's a <laughs> volcano island, and we threw a guy into the lava. That's awesome. <laughs> Good harvest. 
<laughs> it was. Oops. What? That's the equivalent to me hopping in the trunk by mistake in Wildlands. Yeah, as long as you're inside the truck. <laughs> that was one of my favorite vehicle features of Wildlands, was the ability to hop in the trunk of the vehicle. Not only could you throw people in the trunk when you're, like, kidnapping them, but you could also, um, you could also hide in the trunk yourself. And then you could pop up and shoot from the trunk, too. Alright, be ready for contact just in case we come across anybody else. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Alright, there's your two waterfalls. This path looks like it leads right up there. So, is it, did it say it's between them or atop them? I didn't I think everything what you were saying. I think it said between them. Between them? Okay. Look for a right turn. That. What's that line from Finding Nemo? Go, go, go around the trench? Go through it? Yeah. <laughs> Go around it, not through it. I never saw the sequel of that movie. I kind of wish that I did. Wow. I watched left. it on a plane ride home from Italy. We just left all of this unguarded. An entire helicopter, four motorbikes, and a truck. Hey, there's another road to go up higher if that's what we need to do. This is where we need to go. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. So up, nice up right in looking. here. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's almost like a... Uh, a mix between a bear cat and like a H3 Hummer. Yeah, kind of neat looking. You ever ridden in a Hummer? Yeah. Not like one of the original H1s. Of course, the Humvees, but... I would be interested to see what the H1s are like. The I would surprise original... how roomy they are inside. How what? How roomy they are. The heck is I mean, this? yeah, I'm sure compared to a... War? Cross Passage? What? What I'm looking to do. I think so. Oh, oh, it's netting. Oh, there's a guy right there. This is how your life would go. I'm guessing we hit the. Okay, there we go. Hi. <laughs> Nomad, we've been expecting you. We're glad you're here. How do you, how do you know who I am? This man is a traitor. Oh, are you in a cutscene right now? Yeah, are you? No, sorry. I forgot oh, no, that. Man. I'm in a cutscene. I I'm forgot. talking to some dude that looks like Manuel Noriega. Alright. I'll uh I'll meet you inside. These people already know me. I forget that it's like it doesn't synchronize like the world. Oh, uh, okay. These are like so, your old buddies. I have Come definitely on. encountered them many times. I didn't realize how blonde my character's hair was until I came into the sunlight. Wow. <laughs> You like can change like that. Platinum blonde, like that's pretty blonde. Make it blue. <laughs> Make it blue. Blue. That, I don't know why they added that as an option, but it is an option. Very, uh, very operator like. I think it's probably, if I remember correctly, one of the Rainbow Six Siege characters has blue hair, and maybe they did it so that you you can look place? like that character. This place is legit. I know this place is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. This is Erewhon. This is yeah. the hub uh, area, so one of the problems with Wildlands is that there's no hub area to go to, like, where you could just relax, and this place has an actual hub, which is nice. Okay, this is, like, super relaxing. All the comforts of growing up next to a 300-foot deep ravine. <laughs> yep. Hey, hello, fellow operators. This is one of the Rainforest Cafe uh, locations. Hey, I just realized that my bandages are gone on my arms. That's pretty cool. What just you happened? Getting this cutscene? Uh, I think so. Are you just boys alright or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. You guys just wearing an LBV? Yeah. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. 
Titan with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. Oh boy. You the Mystery one in charge cowboy. here. Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? Let's try to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aurora went dark. Now we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, her choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell. Some kind of military takeover. Sentinel. Military contractors, they put this place under martial law. Using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Well, where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, Tessier wounded? Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Kind of some interesting, uh, interesting backstory, you know? Yeah. Cool. Can you imagine just being in a small, you know, independent country, nation like this? You hire a fucking security contractor to come in and, you know, provide security and then they take over your island. So these guys got quite a, <coughs> quite a rig here. Not really the unassuming natives you'd imagine this is the guy I was talking about in the cutscene the one that looks like Noriega <laughs> yeah like the uh um what was I gonna say these guys are so they call them homesteaders they're essentially like remnant population left over from the uh from when uh like it used to be an army base and a naval base and then some people like stay behind after they shut it down in the cold war and these people like stay behind and are still there they just made you know farms and different settlements and stuff and kind of just decided to live out in the outback while the rest of the island was run by this big you know tech company basically yeah this is where you can buy uh equipment all sorts of different stuff it's more than just equipment i can buy entire vehicles even the armored kind Wow. How much Let's do get I you set have? Up with what 22, you need. 22, 000. Look at all these goodies. All kinds of stuff I can buy. I can even buy a bunch of, bunch of camos and faces and stuff. Oh, these are... Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff you can get. There's patches too. I have a lot of different patches. I still don't understand why they have UCP, let alone USAF, US Air Force Digital Tiger Stripe Camouflage. Like, why the fuck would I buy that? <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, Flectar, eh? That'd be a good weapon paint. Oh man, I can afford any of these. Oh. Dude. I can afford any weapon I want. Oh man. Oh no. Hello? 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 <laughs> Hold on one sec. 
Slight technical difficulties. We'll be right back. Enjoy, enjoy our standby screen video in the meantime. Oh, I thought there's another. Yeah. Where did you go? Oh shit! Oh, it's all right. Lord. I need to know your location. I am. Yeah. You better move. <laughs> go, go, go! Oh, get your ass get out of there! Get out of there! <laughs> um, <laughs> it seemed like the Emperor's new group. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna make a fire or what? <laughs> I'm so glad that you got that reference. I, I don't oh. think I've ever had anybody get that reference before. <laughs> it's my favorite movie, man. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, my oh God. man. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Head of the game. Let's do this. So we got, uh, um, we'll all go up that one uh, support where we know that the ladders are. Um, we're going to try and get across the area. We've already eliminated one patrol member uh, up there, one of the security team members. Um, we'll get across the radar dish. Uh, we'll infiltrate the compound from there. Draw, you'll keep the high ground up above. And we'll, uh, we'll call it good from there. Oh, right. I want you to be the last one up the ladder. I want you to cover us as we move up. You can, dude. Okay. I'll so. try to find a spot. Okay. Yep, we're back. So, don't know what happened there. Apparently the, uh, the good gods of, um, whatchamacallit, Discord decided that we were not worthy. So, so <laughs> yeah. Dude, they have a UMP CQC variant. That looks sick. That? Um, it's under blueprints in the shop. You hit RB or R1, I mean. Uh, uh, and you can see all these course. weapon blueprints you can buy. These are kind of expensive, so I don't think you'll have enough to buy them yet. But yeah, I don't got enough for any of these at all. I've got enough to, to buy any of them. I'm, I'm considering getting the Mark 17 Assault because I don't have any of the scars. And the scars are pretty, uh, pretty awesome weapons. Cool looking weapon. I like this one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is based on a real gun or not. I, I don't recognize it. The resistance ASR. That's kind of a cool looking thing. It almost reminds me of the AUG a little bit, yeah, mixed with like, like, uh, like kind of like mixed with the F2000 ball. maybe. Looks it's like, like it'd be like Belgian deal. or something. Like something that was converted to a rifle. Oh, are cool. we connected cool. in Discord again now? I, I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> I, yeah, so, something weird's going on. Um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure, dude. Yeah. Anyway, though, uh, yeah, they got some some cool stuff. Five sixteen shorty. So, stuff. These are pretty cool, man. so if you ever see uh, the five sixteen versus the four sixteen, so apparently Sig Sauer makes the five sixteen, whereas. Heckler and Coke makes the 416, the HK416 versus the SIG 516. I don't know why that is. I don't know if like the 516 is them trying to one up the 416 or like what the the deal behind yeah, that is, sure. but I think it's funny. That's, that's interesting. So uh, I noticed before we cut out on the audio, I'm looking under clothing and stuff. Mm -hmm. These, where is it? These are these guys sponsored by Tech Taylor? I think so. I there's they have a lot of different sponsors actually. They have is 511 like Tactical, 511, Cryptic, um, Cry, Tech which Taylor. is a huge one. I mean, yeah, they Cry have yeah a lot of actual gear there, which is pretty awesome. 
I thought that was interesting. I, I saw the tech Taylor. I was like, what? Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's, I reading, it's pretty interesting. I was actually just reading a story about the origin of tech Taylor the other day. I kept seeing, back when I was still on post, I kept seeing their van driving around. Um, they had like a van on post that was like the Tack Taylor van. And I never knew exactly what it was. Um, but if I understand correctly, they make like custom fitted gear for soldiers, right? Yeah, yeah. So from what I understand, um, like the origin of Tack Taylor, um, uh, what was the guy's name? I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. I just read it too. Jesus Christ. I actually read their like, little history on their on their webpage. Mm -hmm. he, um, let me take a look. Logan Coffee. There we go. Logan Coffee. Logan he was, Coffee. Uh, he was in the army. Yeah, he was in the army, and when he was stationed out at Schofield in Hawaii, he was like, um, you know, kinds of like custom gear and like customizing like it. It, it was issued to him. Um, I guess it was kind of a, a side hobby of his, and then when he got out, he turned it into like a full job. Like, it was beyond just modifying kit, and it was like creating all new kinds of kit. That's they sick. Like rucksacks and packs, and they did all kinds of cool stuff. But yeah, Sweet, yeah. A few years ago, actually, I didn't know that. Oh, that's too bad. Sounds like he contributed a lot to uh, the military operations community. Yeah, he was pretty popular. He uh, he made some really cool designs. God, this I'm is looking, gonna give me a okay, so I'm looking freaking at aneurysm. The knife here. section in the store. Are these? Are there more? Like these look. This is, like, I could have sworn I was watching one of your old streams where there was way more than these. Um, I'm not sure how you get them. I I can't actually remember. <laughs> to be honest the with knives? you. Yeah, there's like. Look at that. Um. I'm looking at I right think now. you can buy a bunch of them, but you might be able to unlock them other ways, too. I, I'm not 100% on that. Because I thought that when you guys were all looking through them, there was like a ton. There's like 20 right here. The Mark II is hmm. in here. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just kind of have to play, I guess, to figure that out. These are pretty cool, though. You know me. I'm always looking for blades. Oh, yeah. A boy. P-Series. Yeah, the biggest knife collection I've ever freaking seen. Hey, I need to uh, put the stream on standby for like one second while I uh, get out of Discord because it's freaking out in the background. Give me just a second here. Watch right. out, there's another. Yeah. Where did you go? Oh, shit. No, oh, it's all right. Lord. I need to know your location. I got it. Yeah. Maybe. You better move. Go, go, go. Oh, get your get out of there. Get out. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Once again. No, no apologies. The more I look at these, like, little options here in the, in the customization, the more stuff I see that's sponsored. Right here, there's a Helicon Text product in here, too. That's another... Uh, brand. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure that they they are either sponsored or they got some kind of permission to do all that. Well, of course they did. I mean, if they didn't, they they would not have done that. <laughs> but they got they got Blackhawk in here. Yeah, Blackhawk is like the backpack I have is a Blackhawk backpack, I think. Oh wait. Cry. I, see, I see it now. Maybe it's not. I don't, I'm not 100. percent Let me see. Yeah, Helicon text. I don't know if you look on text as... Sorry, that's not Blackhawk. I have another one that's Blackhawk. For being, for being, uh, like outdoor stuff. Like they make really cool ponchos and some nice bags too. Oh, Ops Corps, Peltor. Oh, they got all the brands. You know what this reminds me of a lot? I think you what? played this game when you were younger. You remember Skate 2? Yeah. They had all those, like, yeah. Like, yeah sponsored. The sponsor brands. Alien Workshop and Plan B and yeah, all those different skate shop brands. Plan B was my favorite. I I always went with Alien Workshop because that was Rob Deerdeck's brand for a long time. You ever see this coming? Rob Deerdeck was my my dude. My dad loves that show that Rob Deerdeck does. Really? Favorite. 
Yeah. Wh so which one? Was like, um, the not not Fantasy Factory, the one where he does like like reviews, like funny videos of people getting ridiculousness. Like, yes. I haven't actually watched a lot of that show. I I know of it, but I haven't I haven't gotten that into it. I watched kind of Fantasy Factory as a kid a lot. That was a big... Yeah, Fantasy Factory is pretty good. I was convinced that I was going to be a pro skater when I grew up. Now I'm convinced that I'm going to be a pro streamer. <laughs> I'm just a man of many aspirations. Okay, I found a piece of kit in here I really like. What's that? I need pants to match it, though. I like this heavy coyote plate carrier. Heavy like, coyote plate carrier, huh? It reminds me of, like samurai. Armor. I should have whatever you need, and maybe a few. Oh, is that the one with like the no shoulder? Need. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got it's got the deltoid, the delt uh -huh. pads. That's kind of cool looking. I like that. Heavy. Heavy. I need a hat. How do you how do you put stuff on when you buy it? Um. Save my money. What do you think? No, I mean you're not gonna spend it on anything else. Well, spend what you want. I mean, pretty much just weapons, and you can buy supplies and stuff, but you can craft it too. So, um, come by the fire pit, and I'll show you. Well, so there, oh, yeah, there's yeah. these things called bivouacs. We call them bivy camps. Um, this one is the one for Erewhon, but they're they're all Where's over the, the place. The... Right over here. Where is this? To your left. <laughs> to your like eight o'clock. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Um, cool. So you just come by the the campfire, and then you can sit down. You just hit rest and bivouac, and then here you can alter like your uh, your gear setup, your weapons, your you know pretty much everything here, and um, yeah. So in order to change your gear, once you sit down, you just pause the game, and then you go to, and actually you don't have to do this while you're sitting down, but I figured I'd show you the other stuff too. But you pause the game, and then you just go to customize at the top. And then you'll see it's got appearance, that's like your guy, and then you got your gear, uh, accessories, etc. The figures, that's like if you want to play as like, I don't know, specific story characters or whatever, you can do that. Um, but, <laughs> and you can play as the Terminator as well. Oh, did I already have, I already had some stuff? I didn't know that. I thought I had nothing, I already had a couple different hats. Oh, they were kind of dumb looking hats. Oh, are you serious? I want a refund. I literally just bought something that was identical to what I had. <laughs> Are you serious? I just What'd you buy? Beret. I bought the beret, but I literally already had one in my pack that's the same exact thing. Uh, which which beret did you buy? The green one. Are you the serious? green beret. I literally had almost the exact same thing in my pack. That's super lame. I want a refund. <laughs> how do you... How do you know... That you had it already. I only see one. It was already in my backpack. I have, I got a few things in my. I heard no, these are the things that you bought. What are you talking about? What are you talking? About? What are you talking about? Are you talking about real life or the game? I'm talking about. I'm talking about the. What do you think I was talking about? I'm talking about the game. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know what you're talking about of being in the backpack. Yeah, like in the in the customization screen. I already had this stuff. No, that's where, that's where, when you buy stuff, it goes in there. Right, right, okay, so I'm saying in the customized menu. Yep. Under gear, I went to head protection, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things I could wear, and I've only bought one thing. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm saying I went over to the shop, and I bought the beret, but in my, in my pack already, I already had a beret. I just blew like five grand on something I already had. Huh. Okay. Oh, you bought the military beret. Yeah. But you had the regular Maybe beret. Maybe it just came with the game because I got the special edition. I see what you're saying now. Okay. I, I thought that... Yeah, I don't know why I was... Never mind. I, I'm losing my mind. That's okay. He's losing his movie. mind. Somebody quote that movie. Name that movie. And I'm reaping all the benefits. Mm. You have 15 seconds to name yes. the movie. That's from The Wedding Singer. Can you edit, can you edit things that are already like on your kit? Uh, what do you mean? Like, 
and I go to like equip this item so like the heavy coyote plate carrier for example and I go to put it on I already have like a bunch of mags on my chest can I like change that or like what's on my so kit? it'll it'll change based on your weapon that you have oh uh, okay so like yeah whichever whichever weapon you have equipped will be the oh damn that's Dude, if you want some samurai looking armor, look at the Sentinel Mark II vest. That's that looks samurai right there. Where is it? Uh, just it might be in the locked items. Just look for Sentinel Mark II vest. Oh wow, they have a plate frame. That's kind of cool. I don't even know what the purpose of the plate frame really is, but it's interesting. It's basically just you can see the plate through the stuff. I feel like it would be bad for maintaining your stuff but i guess it's really lightweight i don't see that thing you're talking about um I see here the pioneer vest and that looks pretty like i'll made. put it on cool. i'm wearing it now Walker, can you see my character vest. i don't know if you can see not right now all i can see is my own guy yeah i don't know then what was that i saw a cool vest man i'm, I'm looking at stuff i haven't really looked at before where was that? There's some cool Clay ass. Pretty, pretty badass too. Bodark. Pretty ninja. I don't know where the hell I saw that. Is it the VTAC vest? No. I don't know. This is what was that? Cool. Silencer vest. That was it. That's gotta be. No, that's not it either. Colors too. That's so cool. Which one was it? Bodark Architect? No. No. Cross draw vest, that's it. Look at that. That's pretty dope. I gotta, I gotta pick this up when I get money. Okay, let's go get money. Need money. <laughs> we need more money. Baby steps. Young Padawan. Alright. Roger that. Let's get the money. We're gonna make a lot of noise. Get a lot of money and get the hell out of here. Alright. If you're ready, let's let's take off. Oh wait, 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 before we go, sorry. I broke camp before I even thought of this. So sit sit back down at the camp here. Nice beret. It's like when you, <laughs> yeah. you can't really, like, never mind. Um, anyway, go to preparations, and then I would recommend doing eating, but you can do whichever one you want. You just, uh, it gives you like a bonus for an hour. It, when you sit down, you have to sit down in order to do it. And then you might want to select a path, too. Or a, a... Jesus Christ, a path. What am I, a fucking guru? <laughs> a, a class. class. That's, what, that's what I meant, yeah. This music is so loud. It's, it's nice. It's loud. You're, well, you're the engineer, right? Yeah. I'm the engineer. Um, we also have, you know, the other guys. I'm assuming we'll all play together at some point. Hap is a panther. Draw is a sharpshooter, and Darren is a medic. Um, and the others are Pathfinder, which is one we haven't used yet. Uh, you can use like, oh wow, you can use an overhead drone, which is badass. That's cool. And you can um, find tactical like supply caches that are throughout the uh, environment. That's that sick. Yeah, Pathfinder. I, I didn't yeah, realize I you could use that drone. That's cool as shit, man. And then Echelon, you get... I think Draw did this one yeah. for a while. You get like a special intel thing where you can see like enemies around you and stuff. Yeah, I saw that. So, it's up to you, man. You you play how you want. Even if you want to use one of the classes that we already have. Assault is another good one, but Assault's a little... 
just not that interesting, I guess. I was assault for a while, and it just makes you tougher, and you can, you have like this, this rage ability. But the rage ability, I never even used it. Like I always forgot to use it. So I did engineer, right. which was, you never. Know, I was gonna say maybe I'll hold off for a minute and see how I play. Probably a good idea. That makes sense to me. Yeah, maybe I'll hold off for a minute. Is there anything else I need to do when I sit down? As long as you did your preparations, I think you're good. I'm gonna see if I can make some grenades because I need, I need them. Make a few grenades out of random plants. All right, um, I think we're good there. All right, I sat down now. Preparations. <clears throat> I liked the look of this weapon at first, but now I feel like I've wasted my money because it's like. I thought I could put the scar stock on it, but I can't. What should I do for preparations? <laughs> um, I would do uh, eating, because that gives you an extra like boost of health. Mark 17 shorty? I didn't realize I had this. Oh, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. <laughs> did you also spend money on the wrong thing? Wasn't I did. Wrong? That's okay. Such things happen. Stand, wait, whoa, what have I done? All right, give me a second. Sorry, everybody, I'm wasting time. Ice is once again wasting time. Yeah, what are you doing? Wasting time. Just give me a second. Auto burst, auto single, that's what we want. Got the 203 on there, got all that good stuff. All right. Craft stuff, too. Mm -hmm. Mine, Mark 1. I'm glad I'm such a fitness <laughs> ration. Visual acuity ration. Resilience ration. What's that other? Is that like a green color? I like green colors look so weird. Oh, oh, I right like here. that. I'll do that. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'm ready to go now. I got my scar. Okay, how do I exit this? Maybe I don't want to use that extended magazine. Reload speed, vertical recoil. Yeah, we want we want normal recoil. Why the hell would you do this? Small magazine. Or like sh the 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 small, like a 10 round mag for the freaking, um, s for the scar. The only advantage is plus 10% reload speed. You cut the amount of bullets you have in half to make your reload speed 10% faster. Why? That makes no sense. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't really get that, but okay. Are you ready? Ready to get out there into the world? Yep. Alright. We can break our camp you know how then. To, how, to, how to get out of this? Just hit break camp. In the lower right. Hidden. We'll get some water. This is a serious, like, Middle Earth vibe. Why? Did you ever see this coming? I like my ASMR. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Did you hear? Ballard has a cure. Exclusive benefit of subscribing to the channel is you get a direct ASMR feed. <laughs> Not really, for the record. But maybe I'll consider that. Let's do, a, um, let's do like a reward tier where you contribute so much and then I should read you a bedtime story. Dude, I that sounds like a great idea. I know people would probably pay money for that. Like, you got the voice for it. <laughs> I'd stumble over the words too much. Reading live is really hard. But I'm sure I'd get used to it over time. Let's get to... Uh, Reading under pressure. Reading under pressure. 
reading oh, while I totally just, I totally just lost you. Oh, to I your right. I know. Yeah, I I know. We got to talk to uh, Mads here. Who? Oh. What's this guy's name? Cowboy man, Mads. I had to do or she do it. No. You have to. I'm gonna demand Schultz calls back. Maybe he doesn't have a mission right now. Oh, faction missions. You could you could do a faction mission if you want. It's up to you. Right there with you, brother. We'll make you pay Walker. Operation Greenstone. Those look like my two missions right now. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Walker is the guy who shot that dude at at um. Point blank. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, they got the, the um what's his name? Uh why am I blanking? John Bernthal. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should have like a mission that you have to do right now. But I I forgot Oh 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 I it's, I'm sorry. You have to talk to somebody else. Oh. M maybe. I, I don't know. There might be other missions, side missions, story missions, whatever. You can do whatever, man. You can go around and, I don't know, steal candy from kids. Sometimes that's a good way to establish your dominance and authority. Yeah, that's what they teach you. I think I lost you again. We're supposed to talk to, uh, Mr. Uh, um, Holt. Where's he at? Up here. Sorry, I keep running away from you and just completely leaving you behind. Oh, this guy? <laughs> this guy that wouldn't chill out. You <laughs> wouldn't chill out. Yeah, I said he was, like, freaking out. Holt. Wake up! Hey. How are you, man? Nomad. Who's left? Who made it? Hey, you just relax, pal. I'm doing what I can. You damn superhero. Ugh. Here. Here's another superpower. Maybe you didn't have a drone yet. I can't find Midas. But Weaver. You just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Matt Schultz, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. For you, was it really quiet when he said go? Mm, I don't know. I mean, not any more or less quieter than normal things. Let's get a bunch of stuff. So you got the drone now. So we got to talk to Mads now. I forgot we had to talk to him first. This is, yeah, this is our PT regimen for the day. We're just going to go back and forth. Can we call this guy, can we, can we rename him after some famous cowboy? Um. <laughs> he kind of looks like a mix between Waylon Jennings and, I guess, with his, like, braids in his beard, a little bit of Jack Sparrow. Waylon Grimes. <laughs> yeah. Sparrow Jennings, how about that? Sparrow Jennings, yeah. Sounds like a D and D character. <laughs> well said. Episode one main mission, find a way off the island. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. How's your pal? Hold it up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? 
that the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? Used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? Yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. Uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? Know how I can get off this island? Right. Don't leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. <laughs> I'm not running, Mats. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <sighs> oh, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... straight with you we know that we're no match for former spec ops so some of our friends homesteaders and scale employees both are leaving the island on a couple of boats can you get them protection on the wasp absolutely all right i'll tell you where the boats are Does that remind you of when his, he keeps tilting his head back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> guy from Jaws, the old ship captain. Oh, Captain Quint? Dude, that guy's my favorite. <laughs> I just remember you telling me about him. I, I, It's been so long since I've seen Jaws. I, I watched it a really long time ago, but I remember you mentioned that. And because when I was wearing my ball cap, when we were hanging out out west, you always said that I reminded you of him. And then when I saw Matt Schultz doing that, he does it like a ton in the cutscenes where he just tips his hat back like a little bit. It just keeps getting further back. And it, I was just like, man, like if Peace was watching this. <laughs> uh, 100 men going to the water. Yeah. Such a good movie. A hundred paratroopers at the C-17. <laughs> paratroopers land in the water. <laughs> paratroopers uh. sink. Paratroopers <laughs> sink. That's no not entirely <laughs> inaccurate. That's why you don't do nighttime water jumps. <laughs> I know way too much about that movie, man. You ever see yourself doing the movie? Most of those scenes that they shot on the open water were actually like no more than like a mile away from land. Like they were really close by. Well, I can imagine why. And the shark was actually supposed to appear way, way sooner in that movie. But they're having problems like getting the robot thing to like work, you know? Mm hmm. Um, so that's why like the movie, like it takes so long for the shark to so long but they like redo the script and whatnot to make the to make it fit with the timeline yeah i don't know what just happened i like stuff i like the loading oh wait did you leave uh i don't know what i just did oh i i like hit okay on something for i'm sorry oh okay got it i don't know if you have access to night vision yet um who needs that it's gonna get pretty dark. I was gonna say maybe we should wait till 
daytime, but we can we can make it work. I can guide you. Yeah. Hey, where'd you go? I'm sitting by the helicopter. Hold on, I'm gonna put on my night vision though. How many helicopters? How do I put on my night vision? How do I know if I have it? Um, well, you don't necessarily actually need night vision to use it. You tap right on the D-pad, but we always like put on a helo with night vision just to role play, just for fun. So, do I have it? Does it work if you hit right on the D-pad? <laughs> Nothing. You might need to get a skill for it. So, if you go into your um, your skills, it is one of the first, one of the basics. Just it's ability night vision. You might have a single skill point. Oh, I have to unlock his class first. <sighs> um, hate making choices so early in the game. Um, I think you can, it just, oh, it takes a single, how many skill points do you have? Two. Two? But so you I can think. unlock a class and then you can do that, yeah. Well, are those three, it says the bottom one. Pathfinder is free, it says. Yeah, it says free with one year pass. Do I have that, I guess? Yeah, you have it, yeah. Okay, if that. you got the same version that yeah. I told you to get. Yeah, tr yeah. try it and then, yeah. yeah, you can always pick a different one. You, you're not locked into a class. Okay, good. I don't like being committed. <laughs> I don't like commitment. Okay. okay. Ability parachute. Perk pack deal. Experience upgrade. Night vision. Cool. I can actually see things. <laughs> Combat effective. My oh, man. Oh, it's even a thermal. Oh, does it give you the thermal ability? Yeah. Nice. All right, hop in the helicopter here. So we're gonna go up to where this. Yeah. <laughs> Is that where you just spin the spin the <laughs> the main rotor and the tail rotor with with your hand? Yeah, it's good. You kick the skid. Yeah. How we learned it in pilot school. <laughs> We're looking good. Pre-flight check. Good to go. Sorry, I was altering my volume. Say what now? I can't hear you over the helicopter. That's okay, just keep flying. The heliocopter. Jesus. Oh, lightning air. I saw the other day, you mean yesterday was? was that? It was the birthday of Louis Braille, the inventor of the Braille system. Is that like a day dedicated to him? Uh, no, it's just his birthday. Just his birthday? Huh. When when was that? When was he around? Oh, that was late 1800s, I want to say. He's one of those like turn of the century scientists. So what what did blind people they they just couldn't read anything before that then? Yeah, I think Louis Braille like when he created the Braille system, the kind of thing that never took off really in his lifetime. But after he died, people started to like, pay a lot more attention to it. Like, oh, this is actually like a pretty sensible thing to do. Wow. No, it's just like the standard, yeah. That's cool. I mean, it totally makes sense. Yeah. That was like a really cool period of science, like in history. Like the late 1800s, early 1900s. Hold on. That's where Red Dead Redemption 2 takes place, right? Yes, it did. Right in there. I think, I think Red Dead Redemption 2 was right at the turn of the century, right? Like 1900, 1902, something like that? 1899. Was it? Okay. The Red Dead 2 is in 1911. So, 
this area should be free of any enemies. If we start shooting people, they're probably going to be civilians here. <laughs> okay, I don't, don't want to do that. Probably not a good way to start off your relationship with these uh, yeah. people. I don't, uh, I don't have a rank to handle war crimes. <laughs> hmm. What are we looking for? Uh, we're looking for a contact who we're supposed to meet up with. Contact. Might be some supplies. Ooh. My eyes peeled. I don't, uh, I don't see much on the thermals. Much of anything at all. Oh, truck. Is that a boat? Yeah. Boat over here. Oh, there's a crate in here. Oh, there's people over here. Oh, there we go. Oh, they look scared of us. I don't want to scare them. Don't hurt us. Are these the guys we're looking for? Most likely. There's a crate over here. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a it's weapon. A I want to dismantle it. Dismantle the oppressive establishment. Exactly. Board by yeah. board. Not nah, the, the ankles of, the ankles of, big, of business. big business. That's right. <laughs> I will saw the tables of tyranny in half. In half. <laughs> what a classic. Thank you. Stephen <laughs> uh, that makes me so happy. Who's, who's the one that passed away? Was it Stephen Hillenburg? Yeah. Uh, hey, what's that guy yelling about? I don't know, but he's got a megaphone. <laughs> I've never seen something more accurately sum up like, you know, the cult of personality. Like, yep. What's this guy doing? I don't know, but he's yelling. It sounds important. <laughs> yep, he probably knows what he's talking about. Yep, sounds about right to me. Dude, I got this grenade launcher. Look at this thing, man. What, you got a grenade launcher? Where'd you get that? I got a 203 on my scar. Oh, I was gonna say, I want a grenade launcher. Grenade launchers are pretty cool. I think you can get, like, an M32 grenade launcher with at the top of the engineer class rank but i need to m32 you talking about the the rotary one? Oh, the milk or yeah well, not that it's like a south african yeah engineer i need to Sounds destroy good. three ground drones to rank up ground drones ground drones like ugvs on man ground vehicles oh yeah that sounds pretty cool mm. I like that giant thing that we saw at the beginning yeah, I'd probably focus on smaller ones than that, but yeah. <laughs> I had my thermals on, and I saw you, I was like, oh, there's some guy over here with a gun. <laughs> Sorry, contact? He looks like a contact. contact. I think it... <laughs> what's the, what's Hello. The word? What, what's that? What's that movie or whatever where the person goes up and just immediately assumes he's supposed to talk to one person, but it's not actually that person? It happens in some movie. I can't remember what it is. Sounds like a Mr. Bean movie. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, technically speaking, that also happens in Cars 2 if you want to get technical. <laughs> Cars 2. I think this is the guy you need to talk with. Who? Him. You got the kid? Yeah. Oh. Hey, punk. Hey. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. Punk. Mad Schultz sent me. You don't look like homesteaders. Well, I worked. I, I work uh, for Skeltech. Mads is a friend. When Sentinel started arresting people, he helped us out. Why did he send you? My chopper got to this island this from a navy ship just a few dozen clicks off this coast. Time. I can get these boats back to know. that ship. And kind of reminds me of Robin well. Williams a little bit. <laughs> well, that certainly sounds better than taking a boat all the way to Auckland. <laughs> what happened to your chopper? I'm still working that out. You leave it someplace? <laughs> yeah. Maurice Fox. And this is my daughter, Harmony. It's nice to meet you. Call me Nomad. You know, we, we met another soldier. He said his name was um, Hill. Josiah Hill? Is he here? No, uh, he helped us get around some of Sentinel's men, but he was injured. Well, I mean, not, not, not badly. We left him at this uh, fishing building area thing. I actually think I know what you're talking about. I'll pick him up after I get back. A 
that's not good. Dude. Terrifying. I hear Shit. revving engines. Bad, guys. Everyone take cover. Oh, I get to use my grenade launcher. That's not good. Are they calling some? Oh, I see him. What happened? <laughs> what, oh, what the, the fuck? Heck? What the heck was that? <laughs> Just like almost died. <laughs> I died. I <laughs> my grenade launcher. I shot the first time and nothing happened. The second time it exploded as soon as I shot it. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. I don't know if I shot it into the wall or what. Well, it's your finest, soonest convenience. I'm gonna give me a hand here. Okay, never mind. Damn! Those guys just killed you and ran, like, sprinted right past you. Yeah, that was that was shameful. So if somebody goes down like that, you need to revive them. That's, that's... Oh, why didn't you tell me that? I thought you just died, died. Oh, no. I was just... I shouldn't have said died, I'm sorry. I was just down. Huh? Oh, yeah. Just, just rest. Job, Let huh? me just rest my eyes. <laughs> Alright, well, looks like we're 0 for 1. <laughs> I'm gonna plant some mines so that we just stop them in their tracks. Yeah, that's what I usually do when I talk to mysterious contacts. Just plant mines around. Yeah, who are you? Just a minute, old man. I'm not done. <laughs> I laid a minefield. This is how yeah, you might want to watch out for that as somebody just steps on an anti-personnel mine. Three bar mine with plastic mine. Yeah, you might want to look out for that. <laughs> yeah, you might want to look out for that. Oh, shit! What a classic. <laughs> I think you might, you might want to verify, or uh, to tell that story to the Twitch. Chat. Uh, should, I, should I tell him the story? Yeah. I'm Maybe go easy on the details. <laughs> but yeah. Are they, they, like are they going to make us well, repeat? I, worked, oh, I, I, I work this uh, for Skeltech. Mads is you a friend. This. Yeah. When Sentinel started arresting I think. people, he helped us out. Why did he send you? All right. Is it, is it working? Can you yeah, we got him. We got him. Bad guys. Everyone take I'm cover. Good. Hold B. Hold B. Hold B. Are, are we getting shot to death? Oh jeez, yep, we're getting shot to death. Wow, that worked pretty well. Anyway. Right, so Where are these guys? Explain. Man, grenade launchers rock, dude. Holy oh, Jesus. I forgot how to switch back from my grenade launcher. How the hell do I do this? Um, suppressor off, yes, okay. Oh, I got it, I got it. Jesus, sorry about that. Being a dummy over here. Did we win? I think we won. I hope we didn't kill any civilians because I shot a lot of grenades over there. This one over here seems to be alive. Roll call everyone. Let me go check. I gotta look for bodies. Alright. Hmm. These look like bad guys. Bad guy. Bad guy. Not too bad. I don't see him. Alright. I think we need to talk to that guy again. Is he crying? Is he crying? Probably. Is he girl at? Give him some chocolate. Where'd he go? I hear you. That would have been an, a great opportunity to just shove him into the lake, Give me a into the ocean. Tabletop him. Yeah. My God. Those people. It, it must be a, a, a new security program. Holy flying cow. My guess is. My guess is. Nothing could come to or leave this island as long as it's on. 
That must be what brought down my chopper. I want to go home. Me too, kiddo. When did this game set? Like, Listen, time wise? Timeline? 2025, I think. You have to get out of here. What? No one is coming to save you, and there's no ambulance on the way. You have to run. You have to get to Air One. Okay, yes, yeah. Uh, are you coming with us? I'm gonna find my friend Hill. That fishing bill you left him at was a fallback point. There may be other soldiers. Good luck. I feel like you shouldn't say that to him. Say what? What he just told him, like... Where it is and everything? No, 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 not Erewhon, but I mean like that village. Like, yeah, it's a fall point. We're all gonna rally there. Oh, great. Now they're gonna catch him on the way to Erewhon and torture him to death. Yeah. Where'd they go? Now we know. Yeah, you're probably right. Not a great idea, OPSEC and all, but... I'm just surprised that, like, I don't know, for a game in 2025, they don't know what to call a drone swarm. I mean, we have the idea of a drone swarm. Like, yeah, I mean... I was in, in the second Black Ops game, weren't they? So it's been a couple years. The fuck is going on with this dude? I mean, M16. Jesus Christ. Look at my stream, man. <laughs> This is creepy as fuck. <laughs> Damn. Give him the best healing I can think of. Healing. Alright. So we gotta get to uh um... herbal healer. <laughs> I'm a healer. That was, that was one of the most uncomfortable oh my God. <laughs> interactions I've ever had with somebody else. Right, I'll tell that story too. <laughs> so, some time ago, myself and the mighty Iceman were doing some shopping. I took him to a store that I frequent, specializes in bladed uh, toys. And the lady that was working behind the counter was critiquing the way I handled some knives. She requested that I hand it to her a certain way. I was like, well, I'd rather point the tip towards myself in case something were to happen. Dropped it or something, and she was like, well, that's okay. I'm an herbal healer. <laughs> and at that moment, me and Ice just looked at each other like, okay, we're getting out of here. She didn't say an herbal healer. She just said, I'm a healer. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm a healer. That's right. yeah. <laughs> like, what does that mean? <laughs> that makes it even even more like disconcerting because like like oh i'm an herbal medicine woman but like and the other the other guy who was toting around a 1911 on his on his suspenders um oh, yeah. goes At least that guy you, you asked about some knife and he goes well why would you want one of those oh yeah that's right probably one of the worst shopkeepers i've ever met like you know, why would you say that in stock and he questioned why i wanted one he's like what do you want that for and i was like oh okay that's <laughs> not the part where like, the shopkeeper asks my opinion yeah, okay, like, uh, come on, man. To persuade me to make a sale. All right, we need to get down to Dead Horse Swamp. I don't know if you can give me directions there. Swamp. What a, what a beautiful place. Yeah, uh, no well, kidding. If I can find my map, I will tell you where it is. Uh, usually select, I think, pulls up the map. Dead Horse Swamp. It's like a lake to the southeast of here, I think. Oh, yeah, I see it. Dead Horse Swamp. Okay, um, continue course. Drive straight. You're gonna find the main road. Okay. Hop on it. Keep going. Then you go another road, make a left hand turn. Shit, we got a patrol here. Just a little go trail. Or unimproved road, I guess. Okay, T intersection. Look out! Okay, I just ran over like four dudes. What kind 
Oh, Jesus. We're being shot at. I ran, I ran into a little sentry post and sent their motorcycle flying. Yeah, I think, that was... I think this is the lake for the swamp right here. Alright, yeah, I'm just driving around to the buildings here. You do that. Alright. Should be good. So, so the, you might want to look out for that story. Probably one of my favorite stories of all time. This was probably, that was one of the first times we really hung out, wasn't it? Um, I think it was, it was, it was part way, it was like three quarters of the way through my first year there, I think. Yeah. So we're on the road, we're on the highway, and we're just driving along, and there's pretty heavy traffic, and it's like a three or four lane highway. So, we're going to get off the, the highway on the exit, and Ice is like, turned around looking over his shoulder to try and merge lanes so he's looking behind us not in front of us and i'm looking ahead of us and i noticed that the whole lane in front of us has stopped completely for some reason or another and we're doing probably 60 or so and we're getting pretty close and i was like I look at ice i was like hey man you might want to look out for that and he's like what and he like turns his head to like look out the windshield and we're literally about to smash into this car in front of us. <laughs> and he yells, oh shit. And he just whips the wheel as hard as he can to the right. And we like swerve out of our lane. And we probably miss the car in front of us by probably inches. Like I, 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 I was for sure that we touched that car. Yeah, I, I, I got out after we got back and I checked for paint to see if we lost paint because it, it was, it was not a second to spare. Not, not half a second, not a freaking quarter of a second to spare it was just like bam like we would have smacked right into that car i could not have braked fast enough to stop yeah it was but uh, luckily i knew that that lane was clear <laughs> oh my yeah, god it just amazed me how fast it happened like it wasn't like we're just driving down the road you're just staring out the back window for five minutes like like all of a sudden that entire lane stopped dead in front of us yeah. And me, it, I just, I was just like, hey, dude, you might want to look out for that. You were so calm about it. Like, there was no, like, whoa, look out, man. It was just, hey, man. Like, you just kind of, like, tap me on the shoulder. You're like, hey, man, you might want to look out for that. We're just careening towards this car about to rear end it at 60 miles an hour. He's just like, hey, man, look out for that. Like, holy fuck, man. Like, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm just like, well, if I, if I, like, yell, I'm going to freak him out or something. I'm just like, hey, just look out for that. <laughs> There's a sweet uh, MG in here. Look at this thing. Oh yeah. E one twenty one. Give you a little firepower. Badass looking thing. Hey Jacques, thanks for uh, thanks for the good wishes for twenty twenty one. I wish you the same. Jacques, our yeah. South African guy. Who? Uh, oh really? Yeah, we go we go way back in TFTW. He was one of the first people to join TFTW. Oh nice. But. Hmm. Yeah, good guy. I think there's a door we're supposed to go in. I'm trying to figure out where the hell South it is. Africa, I don't know a lot about South Africa. I know probably more about... I don't know anything about South Africa. It's a little bit about guns, and that's probably about it. A lot of, lot of modern um, military equipment is developed there. It's also one of the biggest hubs of private military contractors in the world. Um, really? Yes. Uh, all throughout the world, you'll find contractors from South Africa. There's a lot of ones that operate domestically as well to supplement the police forces in areas like Cape Town and um, where else? Uh, I don't I don't know South African geography too well, but yeah, I know mm. know that much about it. Um, because from but, what I can gather, people like go to South Africa to like I don't know like I think how I would. I would describe it. like they go there to like publish designs like some firearm designers like went to Africa for that purpose for South Africa. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's the thing. Like, I guess hey, uh, you can get inside or... right here. I think. I think. Oh yeah, looks like it. All right. Looks like it's triggering a cutscene. Maybe. Yep. Hey, Red Queen. White Rabbit. Nomad. Josiah. Holy shit. 
Nice to see you're still above ground. Anyone else from your chalk? Few. But we're scattered. Man, we sure screwed the pooch on this one. Break out the old icy hot. I your mom. Josiah. I saw Walker out there. Hunting down our soldiers. You saw who? Lieutenant Colonel Walker. Cole Walker. Here. Fighting our guys? There's no way. I hope that bastard burns in hell. I thought he was your friend. Are you in the same window as me? That like... was yesterday. Yeah. Today okay. he's the asshole shooting up my soldiers. <sighs> so what's your lay of the land? Walker sank that cargo ship, or someone he was working with did. Look. Jay Skell sank that cargo ship. But there's a tiny Damn. piece of information that can resolve everything that happened here is because of that prick. I mean, question is the clue you have. I'll locate Jay Skell. I met some Skell tech employees. I'll see what they know. I'll try and round up more survivors. We'll link up at RP Delta. Sounds good. It's our major hill. Those badass oh. tattoos. Hey, what's going on here? Hold on a sec. Oh yeah, it's like a little investigation thing you gotta do. It skipped it for me because I've already done it. Oh uh, wait a minute, hold on. J Scale log. Extract from J Scale's digital journal. Jay Skell is the CEO of Skelltech, that uh, the company that um, operates on this island. I'm gonna turn up my brightness just a little bit. Wait, so, uh, wait did Jay Skell sink that ship that we came in on? Um, you gotta. I well, I don't think he. I don't think the one that we came in on sunk. But you gotta figure out through the investigation who sunk it. It says, it says the truth of the USS Say. S E A Y. Yeah, that's the one like that went down. That thing. The legions, the legions have sunk the USS C A. The legions. The legions, yes. Is that like the drone swarm? Oh no, it's capitalized, so it's a proper title. The Interesting. Legions. <laughs> and. They scale destroyed the ship with unknown technology. The jar. <laughs> I was trying to be all mysterious about it. I didn't want to just like give it up right away. Where the fuck is my brightness? What the? F um. Where do I find? I probably looked at this like three times now. I always do this. I'm like looking for one thing and I keep going past it or I don't see it all the way. Here we go. Image calibration. Contrast. We don't need that high a contrast, man. That's probably what's making it so hard for me to freaking see. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot better. All right. Ready to continue the mission? Early March, right. baby. Where do we go now? You you kind of have all the mission details. Because I've already done oh. this mission. So I'm just like tagging along. <laughs> oh, sorry about... Oh, whoops. Uh, I just launched the drone. What are you doing? I don't know either. How do I land You it? fool. How do I land it? 
uh, hit up on the D-pad. Let me try and help you. Um, objective board, is that what I'm trying to do? Yeah, objective board, we're looking for episode one, yeah, J Skell is what we should be looking for. Oh, I see it. Or okay. maybe it's uh, under operation. Skell tech in 93, while at MIT, high tech megacorp. In 1993, wow, he's older than I thought. He must be like 40, 50 years old? 50, 60 maybe? It looks like oh yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, it looks it's like just... we're going back to Erewhon. Okay, we yeah, we can just, just fast travel back there then. Is that an attack map? Yeah, just go over to Erewhon and yeah, hit, what the hell hit just your happened? fast travel button there. Okay. I said I think we're looking at something like five missions, yeah. yeah so what the what the? To I'm sorry, I just I don't know what the where that came from. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I can tell you this: it won't happen again. <laughs> I don't know. What, I was just. I read something that somebody put in a Discord channel, and then I just said it instead of saying what I was going to say. And I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Clearly, my mind is operating at, like, not optimal levels right now. You didn't say something okay. bad, did you? No, no. I just said, like, we're doing five missions. And that oh, makes no that's, sense that's in this context what whatsoever. What are you talking about? Yeah, I was like, what are you talking about? Um... What I was trying to say is that you just aim at Erewhon and you hold A. Yeah, I got it. I'm here. Clearly, I'm losing my freaking mind. My lord, some guy's, man. Some guy's talking to me. Who is that? Some asshole. Oh, it was like a chick. Or no, it was like a dude. Some dude said, hey, no, man, I got something you might find interesting. Oh, that's that uh, Holt, the guy that we talked to before. I gotta, I gotta turn down my gamma just a little bit. I'm trying to mess with my settings. I'm sorry. I should have done this earlier, but you know, people aren't perfect, and I am absolutely no exception to that rule. You've never done that where you like you're reading something and then you like say it out loud or something. That's what I just did. <laughs> Happens with me all the time. Or like you're saying something and you read it accidentally. I've done that. Yeah, that time. definitely happens to me too. I'm on the These things. And I just write down what I'm saying or vice versa. Yeah, that's totally something that I do. Okay, what the? All right, I see why I had this set how I did before. I think I just need to increase gamma. I need to come yeah. down and talk to this Schultz guy, right? Is that the cowboy? Correct. Yep. I just got done talking to Holt. Yeah, we can go talk to. Feel okay. Talk to my man's. Maybe. What we decided on a name for him? Jurassic. No. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Sparrow. Something. Sparrow. Um. Jennings. Mads. Jennings. Did the folks from no. the beach make it back? It was Sparrow's something else. You mean the survivors? I knew some of the people on that boat since they were babies. I saw them take their first steps. I did my best. Your best? We were supposed to have a ship. Marines. And all we got were bodies washing up on the shore and some grunt twisting in the wind. Mads, this grunt did save a whole lot of us. Oh, but my daughter, it's not a small thing. I know. But it 
it ain't enough. I'm so confused what this guy's talking about right Not now. Not with these odds. All the people who died at the when the ship exploded. I found my friend Sergeant Major Hill. I know, like we just got there and it exploded. <laughs> like, take control over the drones. Hold on, hold on. He's just pissed. You think Jace is behind this? You're wrong. He's a good guy and my best friend. Sentinel took over the island. Follow me. I have evidence. Well, I got more immediate problems. Like my what? people have to prepare for the long haul. You gonna lend a hand? Nope. All right. But finding Skell is my priority. So essentially, yeah, he's he's just kind of pissed off because all his people died, you know. Okay. So do we talk to Shoals or we talk to that? I think we got to talk to Mads again. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I, I don't. Talk to that guy that had the kid. Research okay. Um, I keep forgetting his name. All right. Yeah, let's go. I, I forgot his name for some reason. I think he's over this way. He's not in here. Is he in here? No. Hold on. Does this not remind you of a Rainforest Cafe? Never been to one. Oh, you're missing out, man. I don't re really remember the foods any good. I just think it's a cool concept. Here he is. Found him. I'm the world's greatest detective. <laughs> good work. All right, Fox. What have you got? I'm telling you, Jace is Fox. not behind this. Someone on the inside. This, uh... He sent me a video of the guy in charge of Sentinel. Surf on the south coast looks rough as shit. Don't curse. Seriously. Stone is gonna find any employee who curses. Ask him yourself. Captain Gibson. Captain Cole. That's the two soldiers I wanted to see. Mr. Stone. Operation Citadel is an outstanding success. Yeah. No communication of any kind is leaving or coming into the island. The drone perimeter is active. Now while Miss Fury is out there winning hearts and minds, you lot are going to root out the troublemakers. Captain Coleman, I want those homesteaders under control. There's a cutting-edge technology that I'd like to exploit. Sounds perfect. Captain Gibson, take care of that terrorist bomber and those outcasts of hers. Now, we know there ain't many left, but they're in your AO. Find them. Squash them. Sir, are the holding facilities complete? I said squash them, not capture them. Don't y'all just love being in the South Pacific? The way the ocean breeze carries that scent of jasmine reminds me of Savannah. Hey, y'all enjoy yourselves out there. If you see a ghost from one of those choppers, shoot on sight. Clearly, fuck? Jace is not behind it. Look, even if only Sentinel's behind this, it means your pal lost control of Aroa. He sank that cargo ship, and I still have to find him. He's the only one who'll know what to do. Fine. Screw it. He has a villa hidden in the hills. The door code is 120386. Just give him a chance. That's all I ask. All right. 
So I don't know if you caught exactly what was going on there. I can explain it if you want. I don't think I got it. So that's, that stone guy supposedly is leading Sentinel. Yeah, he's the CEO of Sentinel, I think. Okay. Or like their, their commander, I guess. Under him, or his like underlings. Yeah, Captain Gibson and Captain whatever. I do think it's funny how the one the one lady, she goes, there's this cutting ed edge technology I want to exploit. And he's just like, yeah, sounds good, but work on this. <laughs> like, he doesn't say anything. He, like, he doesn't ask about it or anything. He just goes, yeah, sounds good. Captain Gibson, like, what's the status on this? Like, he just completely disregards what she says. <laughs> Pretty funny. Funny, funny guy. All right, you want to take on this next mission, or are you, uh, how are you looking for time? I'm fine. Keep the party rolling. All right, let's do it. This has been a good stream. I've been having fun. I love the graphics on this game, man. It's This is so pretty. Like, It's just... I love all the colors. Very, very satisfying. The moonlight coming through the ceiling. Look at that. That's so cool. It looks like we're going... The Long Valley Residence. You look like you're on the Stairmaster right now. What am I doing? <laughs> look at my stream. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing something weird? Hold on. <laughs> I don't know if it'll last or not, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> oh my god, it's definitely not doing that on my screen. <laughs> I'm just sometimes you, you sometimes like it, it gets slightly off sync, and your character just gets caught on something, and you do something like that. Here, let me help you. Oh. That's just off. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ho, wake up. Wake the fuck up. Sorry. I'm being an asshole right now. I'm just having too much fun. I don't even know where you just went. I'm like 20 feet in front of you, dude. Hey, they don't call you a ghost for nothing, okay? <laughs> I, I, I gotta use the bathroom real quick, man. Okay, I people. <laughs> you keep you keep the crowd entertained. Do do yeah, something, entertaining. something entertaining. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Oh yeah. This well, is great quality content. You're doing a great job. Great quality. Um <laughs> I do an emote. I don't know if I can do those in the safe zone. I would do some cool emote for you fine people. You guys listen to some jamming tunes over here, whatever that is. Sounds pretty good to me. How's everybody doing tonight? First tentative steps of 2021. New year, new prosperity. For the absolute train wreck that was 2020. Got my fingers crossed for this one. I think it's gonna be a good year. Well, but we will see. We will see. I'm gonna bully Ice for how long he takes to go to the bathroom. And when I upload this video tonight. This is gonna be a long ass video, man. This is this is some serious. How long have I? I don't even know how long. Two hours already, almost. This gonna be a good stream video. It's kind of fun and going back and revisiting some of these missions. Are you making fun of your your unskinned helmet? Hey, you shut the fuck up about that. Here, hold on. You just wait. Check this out. I was I was trying to be operator, but check this out. How about that? Ooh, there we go. That looks pretty cool. Let me get money. The... Need more money. Need more money. <laughs> We're gonna do one last job. We're, we need to get to Tahiti. We're gonna. <laughs> <Ready> to <get fired? laughs> 
<laughs> We're gonna be living it up in Tahiti. Oh, wait a minute. So stay away from Guarma. <coughs> God bless. Wait, I, already, I already have more money. Um. Good. You do? I'm gonna buy more stuff. Yes. No, I got it. I got. Make stuff. you buy me toys. <laughs> what would you do if you were? What you? What I forgot what Timmy's get, dad says. Would you get? In the episode where he gets the car, he's like, that, that thing is a screaming, or no seat belted screaming metal death trap. Oh, you're talking about an episode of the Fairly Odd Parents, yes? Yeah. In, in the beginning, he asked Timmy, like, what he would do if, or what he thinks that he should do to stop his midlife crisis. And he's like, make you buy me toys? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He's a screaming metal death trap. And then he ends up right. buying that hot rod car. That's right. And the Striker Z. They drive it off a freaking cliff. And why not? Yep. And then and then Dugsdale Dimmodome comes and buys it. D <laughs> Owner of the Dimsdale Dimmodome. That's right. Doug Dimmodome. Ready Owner of the Dimsdale fight? Dimmodome. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he, it's always so funny to me that when it zooms out, there's one episode, whichever episode has the ghost town, it zooms out and his hat is like 30 feet tall, like it goes off the screen. <laughs> it's so tall, and I don't know like why, because when it's zoomed in, it's it you can see the top of it, and then it zooms out in this one shot, it like shows the whole town, and his hat is like 30 fucking feet tall. And it's just this super long skinny thing going like off the top of the screen. It's so funny. I don't, I don't think you ever canonically see the top of it, do you? You see it, it but it looks short. And then like in other, in some scenes, it's like super it's tall. I don't understand top. that. At least that's what I remember. I Because I, I always mm -hmm. thought that was funny as a kid. It was like a continuity thing. That's right. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm officially, ready. Officially more kitted out than I was before. <laughs> I like your, your all. I'll change the color of my stuff to green so I can match you. I get some like more armored pants. They're get like, the hills like pants. Them. Hills pants. You can have two pistols, one on each hip. Sounds pretty gunsling. Oh, wait, I can change my backpack. Does it matter if I get rid of my backpack? Does it actually like, change anything? Or like... No, it, it's just aesthetic. Aesthetic? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I had the Tack Taylor hybrid pack. That's not too bad. Ooh, I like this one. That's a nice one. I thought I got really big and bulky and weird. I right, should be matching a little better now. Three day assault pack. That's a mystery. I look like pack. the freaking op for at Jam RC. If I was the op for it, I'd have the UCP helmet and um, vest. Yeah. Oh, I already have yes. 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 <laughs> what, what's that from? It's like some kid. Yes. Oh, it's the it's that kid that gets hit in the face with that basketball. Oh yeah, <laughs> like what? Yes, <laughs> kids are so funny, man. Kids are something else. They're, they're pretty funny, man. Yep. Yeah. You said it. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready for this fight? Oh, geez. Sorry, I got super distracted looking at customizing things. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is okay. These are like these are like going like visit places. That's kind of cool. Like visit certain map locations. Yeah, you gotta find the stuff and go get it. Hmm. Let me get a headset. Can I wear it over my beret? My God, I can. Dude, you can. Yeah, that's pretty actually, cool. It just it just stuffs it over your beret. It's pretty cool, actually. That's like the, um, you see a lot of, like, the German army, like, they're tankers, they wear berets, and they just wear the headset right over their beret. I always thought that was cool. I don't know why we don't do that. Like, why can't we just wear our black berets around and just have, like, 
headsets on over. Helmet. Or for that matter, your red beret if you're airborne. Why can't you wear that? Just into freaking combat. I mean, I, I understand. But if you're, I don't know. If you were like an airborne tanker or something, if that was a thing, you'd have to wear your beret. Oh, no. we, we don't have airborne tanks. Not nah, we need to get them right now. Hey, man. That could be the way of the future. We don't even have airborne strike. Well, yeah, we do have airborne strikers. Yeah. Um, 191 Cav. Yeah, that's right. Isn't, isn't, isn't 425... Or no, wait a minute. They might be light infantry. Uh, well, yeah, the one, whichever one is in Alaska, they have airborne strikers too, I think. Yeah. Pretty sure, anyway. Because you can airdrop them things, I think. Maybe. I think so. I don't see why you couldn't. I mean, they airdrop freaking BMPs and tanks and stuff in the Russian army, so why can't we do that? I got an appropriate patch for my armor. Oh, hold on. What is it? Blade Master. Dude, that's a very appropriate patch for you. <laughs> you look like Jamie Heineman with your. You need to go. You need to be bald with a goatee. And you look like Jamie Heineman. I can get those little, little tiny sunglasses. Yeah. I need to do get those little tiny sunglasses. Yeah, man. You could just be Jamie Heineman, the Heineman. Dude, I, I should be him for like Christmas or something. Christmas. Maybe. That'd be great. Halloween. He's. Does he just has a, the walrus mustache? He doesn't have a full goatee, does he? He just has a giant mustache. I I don't know. I'm not sure. Pretty sure it's just a giant mustache. All right, where are we going? Next mission. Where are we going? <laughs> I look off in the distance, and you're just running the opposite way. <laughs> Up toward. <laughs> I I was you're like where are we going are you just running off <laughs> Dude, I feel like with this hat on and this super I look like some German super soldier like yeah oh yeah <laughs> yeah like, you're like sprinting a sprinting up the mountain yeah yeah we, that's what we're doing who are those those guys I think they still have them any, any Germans out there please confirm I know there's like a special badge you can get if you do like a joint op with the German army if you like do like mountaineering with them, they have like special mountain units like we do. That's cool. But they're like actually like legit mountain units, like they actually know how to do that stuff. The Italians have a mountain unit called the Alpini, and we trained with them this one time. And my squad leader, who shall not be named, was walking past the Alpini, uh, like the Italian special forces who were at our headquarters, and he's like, he kind of like leaned over to me, he was like. Those guys are a bunch of, like, I can't, what did he say? He was like, they're a bunch of pussies. And I was like, wow, okay. And then later on during the exercise, he was like playing the op for during the exercise. And these, these Alpini guys come in and they just beat the living shit out of this guy. Like he came to work with a black eye and like just bruised up face. Like he just, they, he's talking shit about them and then he just got the shit beat out of him. That's awesome. I'm sure he had to have put up a fight. He's a big guy, but like, I apparently they. I don't know if they hurt him or if they were just like, I I don't know, but yeah, it was pretty funny. It's just ironic. I will not name who that is, but he was a person that I knew. Okay. Um. Anyway. Where this mission is? Oh wait. No. Does it say what? Reach, reach the Long Valley residence. Long Valley. Argyle province. Okay, well, I'll get us down there to start. Where's that? Oh, there it is. New Argyle. There we go. Oh, we're in the New Argyle province. We are? Oh, yeah, we're about to cross into it. Okay. I think it's near the town down there. You want me to tell you, like, which one it is when we get there? We'll figure it out. Let's 
go, let's go over here. Let's go over here. A little ways away, and then we won't. I can't see your markers because of my stuff, so you just got to tell me based on terrain. Suspicious noise. That's not good. We'll get us up in the mountains a little bit. Nice. Just bush landing. A little horizon scan here. Pretty, pretty cold out here. Yeah. It's like tundra all of a sudden. Now we're in Lord of the Rings. Now we're in freaking Rohan. It looks like. Uh, you can get them. I think you have to equip them in your weapon wheel thing, or like your little equipment oh, wheel. Shit. Are those those ground drones you were talking about? <gasps> Are they? Yeah, there's two of them on the road down there. Or no, wait a minute. Maybe they're buggies. Also, oh yeah, that's a convoy. I'm sorry. Sorry. From this rendered distance, they look like they had tracks. I thought they were UGBs. Got it. Fortunately, I think we're okay. I'm gonna get to the top of this mountain here and see if I can get a lookout. Uh, come with. Yeah, what are we looking for? Looking for the villa. It should be adjacent to a big city. Or like a little village, I guess. Nothing Wait a minute. A good Is the word villa and the word village? Are they related? They must be. Same Latin root, I'm guessing. Or maybe. I've never put that together before. I think, I think just the difference is that Villa is annotation of like a relaxing place to be. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I collected it. Hey. I wanted to admire the pretty flower, but my guy just ripped it out of the ground. <laughs> I hate you, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> Ride fast, Uncle Arthur. Okay. Okay. Frightened <laughs> Jack. Look, I found a zip line. Very short zip line. What if I push you off? Probably would be a very bad day. <laughs> I don't have a parachute. No good, very bad day. I don't, I don't think that this is it. That looks like a military compound. Hmm. Okay. Or a skill tech there. like oh, industrial that compound. Up there on the right. That looks like a resident. Oops. It does look like a residence. Over here looks like it. That looks like the shit from the video. Two of them. There's one up on the mountainside. And there's one down there. So I think that's the village down there. I think that's the villa up on the hill. So is he in the village or the villa? I would guess he'd be in the villa, because it's his villa. Mm. Well, are we going to the villa? Let's do it. Yo, hostile deer. Roger that. Break contact. Break contact. Does anybody get a... Herb I can... Oh, yeah, I, I was going to shoot the deer, one. but, you know, things happen. You can you can collect, if you hunt animals, you can collect, like, meat and stuff and make rations out of it. Really? But the, what, they don't require you to use rations enough in this game. Like, I, I don't ever really use them that much. Protective ration. Visual I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> you come back and just, like, bag this deer? Yeah. Come on, come on. Got another one. All right. There's a protein plus one. That's, that's a weird way to say meat, but sure. <laughs> Second one down here. Where? Like how th this place is probably controlled by all sorts of enemies. We're just out here shooting deer on the hillside and stumbling down. <laughs> Fully automatic rifles. <laughs> Full semi automatic rifles. Fully semi automatic, yeah. Oh. Alright, we gotta. I say we go around this area. I mean, we could go down in here if you want, but I don't think we need to. Okay. 
I would stay away from that. Dude, we totally look like the op for at Hohenfels. Never been there. They just that wear all black nice. uniforms. It's not the, nice. Uh, National Training Center. Um, do they wear those like? Is it like the tiger stripe ones? Oh no, they wear the desert ones. Okay. Yeah, it's so weird though, cause like they walk around in like full full dress like that, like with boonie hats, and they have like a tab that says Op Four. So that's crazy. Weird. Yeah. Some weird '90s flashback. Like there's all four all over again. I feel like we're gonna get spotted here. I'm gonna keep watching behind us as we move. There's these tiger stripe, like it's like multicam tiger stripe. Uh, these uniforms that some op four wear. I think it's like the special ops op four wear at this quote unquote Spetsnaz at Hohenfels. Um, and they're like from a distance, it looks like our uniforms, but up close, it Is looks like. Is there a drone down there? Or... Like, you see that little helicopter pad down there? Uh huh. I think a drone just flew into that house. I got over here. I don't Might know be a security drone something. or something. Yeah, I was gonna say it just like flew into the house. It just screams ultra rich. I see a station next to it. It looks like a security drone station. They actually make those in real life now. You can, you can buy a little station that you install outside your house, and this like security drone will fly up in the air and do a lap around your house and like check for intruders and stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. But they can be hacked because they're wireless. So like, I never understood why people want to use stuff like that because it's all vulnerable to hacking like somebody could just hack it and use the footage to spy on you <laughs> like I, I, I remember like when i was in when i was in high school we took like a um like a i don't even remember what class it was but one of one of our class projects was like modernize the school district so it was like come up with ideas to like uh, mainly it was like eco-friendly stuff like how to like reduce the school's carbon footprint or like date and modernize the campus you know Mm -hmm. and one of the things I suggested was like having drones that like fly the perimeter of the school to like just sweep for like vandals and stuff wow there's this so you're ahead of the game okay. you behind me huh oh yeah I'm up on the I'm up on the mountainside look I found like a, a painting. oh yeah that's a better idea than approaching straight from the entrance <laughs> look, I, found, I found like a like a, a drawing Whoa! Indigenous thing. Look at, looks like a That's wild. In an, in an arrowhead, that is really cool. Dude, that'd be a badass like tattoo. Yes, it would. A deer skull inside an arrowhead. Cool. Hey, there's an idea for you. Yeah, you're giving me cool like uh, logo ideas. Put like a a rune in the middle of it. You put the ice rune in the middle. You mm -hmm. have an arrowhead around the outside. And then on the inside, it's like either a wolf skull or like a, a deer skull. That'd be sick. Deers are like a ubiquitous forest animal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this looks like the rich boy mansion. We're looking for a rich boy. I bet he's probably in there somewhere. Look at that pool. He's got an infinity pool. Huh. This freaking he's got two pools. This guy's so rich. <laughs> He's got a swimming pool inside a swimming pool. It's like a little it's blow up so pool. <laughs> That's so uh, funny. A pair of guards. This guy's got shoes. Down there. Is this where we're going? Are we getting in, in this place? I think so. We're going to have to utilize my drone. Did you? Do you have your class technique built up that you can use? I do. I don't know how to use it, but... What is that little blue bar next to your ammo count? Does it show like a little design on the inside or is it just a bar that's halfway full or partway full? Blue bar. I see like an empty gray bar to the left of my ammo counter. Okay, so you haven't built up any like points yet for your... So what happens is as you like spot enemies and kill people and do stuff like that, that bar will fill up and when it's at the top you can use your special ability. So for you, it's to call in a drone that can like hack stuff on the ground. So you can like, what the hell? You can like hack into their systems and disrupt them and stuff like that, I think. Um, and it also lets you see stuff. So I'm gonna put up my drone and see if I can spot composition and disposition of forces. We got a fire team to the west side. Um, 
west side of the pool near the truck out there. Uh, looks like we've got a couple sentries on the deck itself. And then there's two guys on the helicopter pad. Try and look for anybody with a radio pack. Because if we can take out somebody with a radio pack, then we should be able to prevent them from calling reinforcements. If you use your drone and you zoom in, it'll tell you what they are. So, like, most of these guys are just riflemen so far. Oh, they got a heavy gunner on the bridge. You see that? How do you zoom? Um, left on the D-pad. Yeah. Take a look at the, uh, the bridge. There's a big dude there. Hold on, I, I gotta oh, take a screenshot geez. of us here. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the look of that guy. I look for Hold on, I'm gonna... Back, man. Radio pack. One guy down here walks like a cripple. Oh, and his problem is... Probably... Uh, airborne? Radio, like... Like a, like a man pack or something? Um, yeah, I don't I don't think they have one from what I can see here. Rifleman. Oops. Rifleman. Heavy. There's a drone patrolling around as well. Security drone. I don't, I don't think it's armed, but it'll spot us and tell them where we are. Yeah, there's a breacher over here. I don't know if he matters. The biggest thing that's difficult for us right now is that there's a lot of patrols out here, and there's also a lot of concealment for them. So it's tough for me to be able to spot exactly like where they're at. I do, however, have... Here... There's, I'm giving last? us a couple of supply drones here. How long does this drone last? I don't know. It's pretty much indefinite. It just keeps like beeping at it now, Pat. Oh, it's probably running low on battery, I guess. But you can launch another one like immediately. So I have a supply drone here for you if you want to equip it so that we can be oh, yeah. ready for this. Uh, just hold X. Or square, I mean. I get that's your, uh, yeah, special Just magazine. Special rounds. Yeah, I got them. Yeah. Um, and then I've got a drone that I can, um, like an attack drone, and then I've also got a uh, freaking um, strike designator. So I'm thinking what I can do is maybe I can get in there and, and either, either I go in there because I got the CQC weapon and I'll start providing fire support or hold on, they spotted your drone, dude. All right, let's 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 assault. I'm gonna assault because yeah, I got the drone with me. You keep the base of fire up here. Wait, what are they? What are they doing? Are they gonna like come and actually find us? Or are they just gonna like run around? I don't. I don't know. Well, they found me. Oh, shit. I jumped the gun there. on that. That's my bad. Yeah, I was gonna say we should just come back. I think they were just mainly looking for the drone. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Okay. Well, I fucking died like an idiot. Where are you? Dude shot me with a shotgun. I'm right, I'm right outside the entrance. I tried to shoot my grenade launcher and it didn't fire for some reason. I don't know why. But I got my drone flying around shooting these guys, so hopefully that'll do some damage. Whoopsie. Hey, I got a skill point. Yeah, they saw me. Their drone's down. My drone's yeah. shooting the shit out of them. They're coming up. They're flanking you on the left. On the left. Close left. Yeah, 2 o'clock. Or, sorry. Oh, 11 o'clock. I, 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 I'm sorry about that, man. That was a no combination fail. I thought that since they spotted your drone that they like knew where we are. And then I realized as I was wow, running I was down that... I was way over on the other side of the compound when they saw the drone. So they were running the other direction or whatever. 
No taking for next time. Oh, look, we can just get back where we were. Good. This time I can't use my class technique, though. That sucks. So, if I remember correctly, there's a secretive entrance we can go through to get inside without, um, without having to deal with all these guards. Would you like me to show you where it is? If not, we can take it the other way. It doesn't matter to me. I won't yeah, I, I won't meta game. Plus what? Try and do it the old fashioned way. The old fashioned way? Alright. I think we can handle it. I won't tell you where it is then. Okay, where are you at? I'm coming up to where you are, I think. Right. I'm coming up to where we were. Yep, that was a dumb move, and I do apologize. Sitting there trying to launch a grenade launcher, but I couldn't launch it because the tree was in the way. And then I freaking blew, well, I didn't blow myself grenade up, but I got shot by the shotgun. Like trees, man. Well, yeah, I mean, earlier when I, in the last firefight we were in, I shot the grenade into the crate of, in front of me, I guess. <laughs> so I didn't want to repeat that. Oh right, yeah, I'm back where we were. Are they gonna keep dead the guys that we just killed? Or no? No, I don't think so. What we could do is we could try to isolate individual guys and take them out one at a time. Get them to come out of the compound and then melee them at close range. Yeah. Or I shoot them. Discover dead bodies. Uh, well, until they walk up on it, I guess. Hold on. There's two guys that are standing by themselves in the garden. We could take them out, but the the heavy is going to see that, I think. Plus, there's a drone patrolling around. That'll probably spot it, too. The one guy by himself, by the, by the truck, though, we could take him. And then we could move him. Yeah, if you wanted to go down there, you could you could probably take him out. I could keep watch from here. Yeah, I'm heading over there now. All right, I'll I'll keep ISR coverage over you with the drone. I'll watch your flanks to make sure they're not coming to inspect. Which way is he looking right now? He's looking south. Right? Is there anybody near him? There's one guy inside of the compound. He's as of now not a threat, but he is approaching. Um, yeah, he's coming out now, so stand by. I think once he leaves, you'll be all right. Where's he going now? He's he's coming out behind him. So he's just around that corner to the left, the corner ahead of you. He's not going to see you. Where's he at? Just around the corner ahead of you to the left. Um... A little further away than the original guy we spotted. All right, how far around the corner are we talking? All right, hold on. He's walking. All right, he's me. he's out of there. Okay. He's going back, so you should be clear now. And I'm gonna Just make sure you move that body. Attack. Yep, go go for it. All right. Yep. I moved that body out of there. Not ever. Like you'd miss anything. You've got more money than God. All right. Looking clear so far. I didn't mean nothing by it. I was just saying. Yeah. Same thing. I'm over here. You ever get a car up here too? There's a kitty drone out. Nothing down here. Oh, good. Yeah, that could throw it. I don't know. Look. It is. On the opposite side of the compound currently. Alright, All right, where's the other guy? Is he coming back? The one that came out originally? Where's, um, he? where's he at? Let me see. I think he. Heavy man's looking like dead somewhere ass else. in my direction. Yeah, I know. That guy's like. That'd be the worst job in the world, dude. Stand there all day wearing that kit. Oh my god. So much fucking gear. Alright, um, 
All right, we got somebody approaching the archway just inside of that garden. Oh, there's somebody behind him. Okay, he's... You see where I'm at? Yeah, he's kind of passing into the Juggernaut's field of view. All right, he's going to be coming out of that yeah, archway to the left around the corner where that guy was originally. On the north side of the parking lot. He's coming out now. I'd take him if I were you. I, I'm not in a spot to hit him right now, though. I'm trying to okay. see. Something else is inside that building behind the heavy. Something keeps opening that door. Probably a patrol on the inside, just opening the automatic doorway. Yeah. Where's the other guy at? Where's that guy? He's just to the right of that archway. He's behind the pickup truck. He's walking back towards the archway now. Oh yeah, I see him. Okay. Watching their patrol route. Okay, so he goes all the way out there. Wish we get this heavy to look someplace else. Really don't. Yeah, like he's either. kind of the biggest wrench in all this. You and me could flank around the side and possibly take out the two guys who are by the helicopter pad. But the problem is, I think that that drone might see it if we do that. Where is that drone yeah. anyway? Oh, I see it. Who's this guy? What's, what's on the other side of this wall? Uh, there's a couple guys on the sidewalk, I think. Heavy will see me? No, I don't think he'd see you. All right, hold on. Before you jump over there, you got three dudes across that hedgerow. They're all in a cluster there. Is that your drone over me? Yeah. Sorry, I'll get a little further away. I'll alert these guys. When you're behind this hedgerow? Yeah, there's three guys. They're kind of, all right, they're all dispersing now. Yep, one's gonna go over to the archway. You could probably make your way down those stairs forward and to the left there. Um, jump this hedge? Sucks. Probably good, but there's a guy there, but I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the risk. You could try it. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, no, 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 no. Think you're good. Why would you want to be a heavy gunner? That guy's like, I want to be a heavy gunner. Like, dude, like that dude looks like his life sucks. <laughs> All right? Does any do any of them come up to where I'm at right here by this gazebo? I don't think so. No. I mean, they come up there, but you could easily just get behind that uh, weird bush thing. <laughs> All right, there's two guys down the stairs there now, so I wouldn't go down there. Right, they're so kind of facing each other. All right, one guy's... They're both coming up the stairs now, so after they get up, you can jump down there, and you should have... Oh, shit, there's one other guy across the pool now. Hey, if you look up now, look across the pool below you. Yep. You could probably ice that dude and then throw him in the pool okay. afterwards. Can you make sure these guys don't come up behind me where I'm at? Oh, Hold oh, on, oh, I can ice him if you want. I got a better. I can tag this one. This dude coming behind you. Good. That was close. He like just saw me. I don't All know right. if I can grab him without the heavy seeing me. I think you could. I just drop. Oh my god, he's blind. He is freaking blind, dude. Look at him. How did he not see that? You see that? He just walked right Damn. by. Damn. All right, there's a guy coming up the stairs now. Up the stairs, to me. Um, yeah, towards you. Not those little stairs, the big ones. All right. All right, am I clear? Near me. I'm gonna throw this guy over. There's the two wall. guys down the stairs from you. One guy's going down. Here. Make sure I don't dump this guy over the hedge where they are. I'm gonna throw this <laughs> <on the side. laughs> 
<laughs> they're just on on guard and then a body just falls. Oh shit. Uh there's a Okay, never mind, you're good. Homeboys are both down the stairs right now. Down the big set of stairs to the east. For the pizza party. <laughs> For the pizza party. Right, where's that guy? There's an ombre across the pool. Is he still there? He's he's gone. Oh, I see him. Yeah, I'm, I'm tracking the guy over by the pool. Oh, he's going down the stairs. Um. All right, dude. Dude, there's one guy at the top of the stairs right now. You might be able to get him. Where is he? From where I am. He's right at the top of the stairs. Oh, I see him to my immediate right. Yeah. You might yeah. be able to get him. I don't know if the heavy would see it or not. Oh, he turned around. I can blast him now. Oh, he's Go for far it. Away. I'm going to hold. All right. Yeah, Roger. Uh, okay, there's one guy inside the house. I see him right now. Take him. Right now. Damn. This is this is some serious okay. stealth gameplay here. I was going to say. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. There's one guy down the stairs by the pool. He's coming back up right now. There's, hold on, there's a dude inside of that doorway, though, to the right. Yeah, no, I see him. Inside hold on, I can relocate and see if I can get eyes on him. Okay, I but I don't know, if, there's probably somebody else inside of the building, too. That's the only issue with that. What if I just... The problem is if I ice the pool guy right now, the guy in the stairs is going to see it. I got the guy... I got the guy down the stairs closest. I can acquire him as a target. Hold on, where is he? He's like right underneath where you're at. There's two guys that are walking towards him right now, right? Yeah, that's probably not a good idea now. I, I should get closer to you, I think, so I can help you. Here, I'm outside the heavy's vision. He can't see me right now. I'm yeah, I'm pretty like sure he's just right like now. sleeping, standing up right now. <laughs> hey, these two guys just came to the top of the stairs and they're just chilling. Um, Why is there two of them? Did they change their pattern? Probably. Two guys there before. All right, okay, I got the guy I with the hood. A, yeah, I got an idea, but it's kind of crazy. All right, we wait what for you both got? of them to go down the stairs. We just shoot them both in the fucking head. As they're going down the stairs? Yeah. Because down the stairs is a blind spot. Oh, wait, never mind. One of them's walking away. Is the other guy going back down the stairs? There's another guy coming up the stairs now, too. Another one? Yeah. Okay, so there's one guy up here with me. Where's the other two? I think we need to just need to start murking, guys. Okay. We're going to get in a firefight either way. I'm pretty sure there's so many guys. All right, can you tag the guy down by the pool deck? I think he's clear from vision. Down by the pool deck. Yeah, hold on. I'm just outside of the wall right now. When this guy over on my side pops up, I'm going to blast him. At least I'm going to try to. I don't see anybody down by the pool. Oh, someone heard that. I don't know who though. The heavy didn't see me. Nothing good. Alright, they detected you, but not me yet. Oh shit. The heavy guy's on guard. Oh dear. Are you shooting towards me? Yeah, the drone's dead. Heavy spotted me. I got him focused on me, but I'm going to call a strike on him. Okay, good. Need me to fix him or... or not. Oh my god, I was stuck in the fucking animation. I'm, uh, I'm down. I'm just outside of the wall. I'm just outside of the wall to the north. Oh, I would, I, I would heavy. break I contact. I got you got him? Okay, got him. break contact to the north. Try and get over the wall. See if you can get to me, because if you die right now, we're, we're done skis. The heavy got me. I, I was trying to hit him. I, I stood up and I couldn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. To your you? left. Left, uh, 20 feet. Yep, you got me. You got me. Thank you. You gotta hold it. I beat. Dude, I don't know how I got the heavy. I guess I just got lucky. Remember in the face? <laughs> oh, shit. I gotta. Can you cover me for a second? I gotta creep myself. We got two guys, I think, coming up the stairs, I'm pretty sure. Yep. 
I'm ready. You watch my right. Hold on, I'm coming up. What the fuck? Get up there. I don't know what's going on. I'm having a little trouble right now. I got two more, but we need to get spotted. I'm doing some <laughs> urban American ninja warrior stuff. Right, there's another one. Scratch three. Jesus! Let's be careful with that thing. I tried to switch away from it, but it was. Can you kill me? <laughs> uh. Hold on, let me deploy my drone and then... You gotta get a syringe. I have a critical injury. Okay, you need to use your bandage then. I don't know how to do that. Okay, watch it um, you need to equip it into your menu. Or go to your, your menu thing, and then just like you did at the beginning... Oh shit, we got guys close. Shit, grenade, 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 get down. Stay down, stay down. Get down! Oh, he got me. Did we survive? That was a good throw, man. No, I'm down. Uh, I got another one. Can I get you? Where are you? Yeah, I'm in the corner back here. You got the drone covering you for another, like, 30 seconds, I think. 30 seconds is all I need, baby. I'll get you up, then you gotta get me up. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't think I can heal you. We're gonna... Okay, you're gonna have to hold it. RB. Hold RB, select the red box, the first aid kit. Mm -hmm. And then you have zero. Okay. Then we're just, you're going to have to go into your crafting menu and see if you can craft it instead. So you pause the game, go into your equipment, and then um, go to craft and then find bandages. They lost us for now. Yeah, maybe. Alright, you should be able to treat yourself now. Right. I'm not doing too too hot either. Yeah, I got you covered for now. Enough. I need more. You more? Um, do you have syringes? Because you can equip syringes and those will like give a boost to your little three health bars. Okay, well, maybe that's everything I have. Um, I All have right. A syringe, but I don't want to use it just yet. Okay, Roger. All right, I'm gonna heal myself. Oh god, you're just hobbling around. Alright. Oh me. Good thing I picked up those plants while we were running around. Yeah, no kidding. Alright. Reloading. Let's um flank around to the right. I don't know. Seems like a hot zone. Let's get on this bridge and go through the middle of the house. I like that idea too. Oh shit, the door's closed. I don't know if we'll be able to get through. We'll see what happens. Can I grab this guy's all team. <laughs> Alright, if it opens, I'll go right. You go left. Clear right. Carving down the stairs. About half stairs. I'm gonna collapse on you. Oh dear. Don't do that. I almost jumped over the railing. Never mind. <laughs> well, that's one way to clear a room. I'm gonna send my drone outside just to see if I can spot this guy who keeps yelling. I think I'm pretty sure there's just one guy left. Because I only hear one person yelling. He's just yelling, kill them all repeatedly. <laughs> Get. Keep firing. You don't even know what you're firing at, buddy. 
I'm gonna hunt this guy down. See if I can ice him. Take him down. Oh, let's not. Oh! Adam, well. where'd you go? <laughs> Adam. I am Lucky just you. having a great day. I jumped off the deck. I jumped off the platform. Yeah, I'm just just wait. I'll respawn. You keep looking around. <laughs> that was not, I, I, I don't know. That was not what I meant to do at all. I, I, walked up to the edge of that thing to look over, and then I like hit the stick back to like walk back the other way. But in order to walk back, I had to walk forward apparently. So I like, just walked straight off the edge. <laughs> It was kind of kind of outlandish decision making process but so be it my man you got him all right He's on all us. right and he gave me a syringe my man right, you're still dead down there nope i respawned cuz that was not a <laughs> that was not a fair death <laughs> that was just a freak of freak incident. Oh. Uh, let's get in here. Check this place out. I'm here. You go downstairs. Uh, I'm like one level above the one with the pool, I guess. Okay, I'm at the level with the pool right now. There's a huge game room here. Oh yeah, I'm one half below that. Okay. Half pair of gloves. Damn, this place is nice. I don't think I could live in a house that looks like this, though. I would rather live in like a cabin looking place. Same. These big fancy houses make me uncomfortable in a weird way. It just doesn't feel like a home. It feels like a. Model. Some kind of crazy shit. I don't know. I mean, some... This place is like trashed out down here, dude. Maybe they're looking for stuff. There isn't enough we did there. It was like this. But this place is like trash. In here, though. Ooh. This important. Is this what we're looking for? It's like a red door. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Ooh, here we go. Okay. Is that some, like a server room? Is this what we want? I got a skill credit crate over on the lowest level. If you want it, 500 I I, skill I credits. I found that one. Okay. I would look for a computer for information. Ooh, an arcade. I'm like some kind of a locked what I'm looking for. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Closed area. How do we open these doors? There's like some goodies down here, I think. Why would you have a vending machine in your house? I suppose for the game room, but I'd rather have just like a mini fridge. <laughs> hey, if you come all the way, all the way down to the bottom, bottom, like you have to go like down by the pool deck and stuff. I found this like room. I think it's like his bedroom, but there's a bunch of like other stuff too. There's like a server room. I think this is what we're looking for. But I, oh, I, I see what you're this. talking about. Yeah. I gotta open this stuff though. Like a locked red room. I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong or something. If you like hack it, but my little boot indicator tell me there's a bunch of things inside this locked room. You need to like welcome. You need to like reset the security alarm or something. Is that what? Um, 
I think we need to go in through the secret entrance in order to do that. Let me take care of that. You you keep looking for stuff here. I know where to go for that. I'll go take it, care of the the alarm. Is it, is it like the reset or something? Is that what it's trying to tell us? Well, uh, we need to we need to get into the security room, and in order to get in there, I think we need to get in through the back entrance. Pretty sure, anyway. Whoops. Seems to me like there'd be two ways to do it. Oh wait a minute! I found something. That's some lot issues right there. That ball gets like twice the size if you get closer or further away. That's hilarious. I just got him some intel, I think. Nice. Are you shooting stuff? I'm shooting a basketball and it's acting very strangely. A basketball's normally Don't do drugs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, there's got to be... Oh, here, there's a laptop. Oh, that doesn't have anything. It's got to be another like, computer or something. Could investigate in this at Intel. Oh, you got the Intel? I think so. Oh, now just check your Intel. Reach the construction site. Check your board. Red Intel. Here we go. Yeah, I found something. I think I found what we're looking for. I think you got it, yeah. Jack scale log part two. No doubt Walker realizes I've crossed him by now. The only course seems clear. I need to go into hiding and devise a way to maintain control and retaliate. If I can somehow manage to take control of the Oroan drones, I will master the island. It must be connected to point zero. Hmm. One in the Fen Bog will do nicely. I'm guessing Fen Bog is gonna be our next objective. Probably, yeah. It's an abandoned drone testing zone. I think that's where we're going next. A okay. gun locked at Anakin downstairs. Do that. I want to leave any loot behind. Yes. Um, I don't, I don't know if there is loot there, but we can check it out. I'll go, I'll go unlock it. Yeah, let me go check it out. You yeah, unlock it. Um, there's a there's a back room you have to go through. I'll I'll head down there and I'll get it. Pretty sure it's down here. Yeah, this is it. This is dark. All right. All right. If you go down by that room, I'll, I'll unlock it from the inside. Ran outside. He ran. So, our... What? What? Why won't it let me open it? I don't know why, but it's not opening. <laughs> okay. Um, here, come to me. I'll I'll show you where to go. You kind of gotta go to the stairs that lead to the lowest level and kind of jump off there, and then if you come down on the road by where I'm about to be, then you'll be you'll be square. Let me kind of guide you with my drone here. So, yeah, come down to those stairs there. Go about halfway down and jump off where it's safe. Right here? Yeah, I'd say about there, probably. Don't let me jump. Oh, no, because you're injured. That's right. Shit. Well, <laughs> you're going to have to find a way to either heal yourself or get outside. Oh, there's a skull credit box up there. I think I had a syringe. Why wouldn't let me use it? You can't craft any more bandages? Because bandages are what's going to heal your your injury, like your um, that's preventing you from moving around. Nope, These trees, man. Is there any medicinal things Beautiful. around here? You see any flowers? <laughs> 
I would just, you're, you're going to have to run all the way back up, I think, and go out the front entrance and then come all the way back. You can just take the, the truck around the edge of the, yeah, just drive the truck down here. That'll work. As long as you don't recklessly wreck it. I mean, maybe. Might be some medicinal drugs. So take the truck and go kind of down where the balcony is down there. This is going to be a hell of a thing to watch. <laughs> go right. Just off-road. Yep, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Keep going, keep going, and you want to get down below that cliff that you're looking at right now. So, yeah, you can either go that way or there's a road the other way, but looks like you're already okay. full send. Go this way? Yep, go down the cliff. I mean, that <laughs> maybe, yeah, all right. Now where? Uh, go ahead and hop out, I guess. You can just walk down from there. Yep, down to the road, and then I'll come meet you out by the road. Here I am. Nope. That's not it. Turn, turn around. <laughs> right here, brother. Oh no, what happened? You like going to the ground or something? What happened? Am I supposed to see you? Right here. Where? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Dude, you're a freaking ghost. Yeah, man. High speed as shit. All right. The secret so we in here. We we out here. We live. Tate's got the crippled leg up the hill. Yeah, man. We're gonna have to find a way to heal that. I'm not a medic. If we had Darren here, we could. But let me see. Is he on? He's definitely not on. Not too late for this him. door didn't open for me either. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But I think that the loot that you want is here. Pretty sure, anyway. What'd you get? Lightweight boots. Okay, that's something. All right. Well, we can well, run out and use that helicopter outside. We could do that. Okay, because we need to go back to Air One so I can buy some plant or something. Why, I don't know. Why would you just uh, fast travel back there? Oh yeah, you should right. be able to do uh, that. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. <Are> you <laughs> just like hunchback of Notre Dame over here. Yeah, Freaking really like death over here. You're like, like Igor. Heroic, heroic Dr. Frankenstein. Guy. Well that was quite entertaining. Symbol for the Pathfinder is a so is the broadcast having any effect? Pretty funny. Some outcast loaded me up with <laughs> think they're looking for an the engineers are a raccoon, I think. It's either a raccoon or a wolf. I couldn't really tell. Right, I'll look at that more one. closely. I was I still don't know if that's a raccoon or a wolf. I'm gonna say it's a wolf. <laughs> going to air on. Yeah, I'm I'm there. You gotta hold A. He just has place to be in. Is it because you're. I'm a moron. I was looking at the wrong marker. <laughs> yeah, why is there two different markers? I know. That's kind of weird. It. Two it. markers. Directions on hey, here. Nomad. I got something you might find interesting. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm gonna call Index here. Because I gotta, Agreed. I gotta go to sleep. However, comma, if you somehow maintained watching 
through us hobbling around like idiots at the villa for like an hour i really appreciate you and your loyalty and you're awesome and you mean the absolute world to me um thanks for watching make sure to check out the rest of our content we got lots of good youtube content out there it's been a lot of fun introducing zach to the game and i think uh i think we're gonna call it for now jock you are the man I did not see that you were commenting on all this, though. I'm really sorry. All right. Um, we are playing on pretty much the hardest difficulty settings that you can. So we're, we're playing on uh, hardest with no HUD. Um, I think the only thing that's not extreme is that we don't have the tactical reload turned on where you lose your ammo when you reload a partially expended mag. So I always thought that was kind of dumb. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that, uh, that's it. Thanks very much for watching everybody. We'll see y'all in the next one. I'm going to try and start streaming every Tuesday again, and we're going to do Saturday nights with the main crew now. So, uh, Saturday night slash for you, um, Eastern Hemisphere folks, Sunday morning, uh, we'll be doing streaming there uh, as well. Thanks very much. Y'all have a good one.